to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. What is it with this insect in Jesus' name? Hallelujah. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we've been we've been discussing a series on family life. Those outside, can you hear me? Say praise the Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. Please, everyone, follow. Tonight, I prayed and I prayed and I said, God, do something remarkable in this place. Hallelujah. Look up, please. There are seven mountains. Remember our series on the kingdom. There are seven mountains that I believe that God is raising and anointing the body of Christ to occupy, to take over, and to legislate on behalf of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Mountain number one is the business and economic world. God wants men to conquer that mountain. Mountain number two, politics and governance. God is seeking for men who have an understanding of the spirit. Men after the order of Daniel who can legislate on behalf of territories and speak the counsel of god in our social environment mountain number three family life family life is becoming a mess every arm robber was born by a woman true or false every thief and tout that is threatening the society was born by a woman so it's important that the life and the glory of god be taken to that that area hallelujah mountain number four education education the value system of the kingdom must be taken education is so important because that is the principle of sustainability when you educate people you mentor them you train them you build them it brings about continuity hallelujah what's mountain number five the arts and entertainment arts and entertainment very very important we have a lot of musicians. We have a lot of footballers, movie actors, celebrities who can influence an entire territory just with one movie, one song, one rap, and so on and so forth. So we need to take God and his value systems there. Mountain number what now? Six, the media. Any man can buy airtime and say anything, whether for or against God. We've had people speak against God directly. What's the last mountain? Huh? How can it be sports? Religion. The mountain of religion we have several kinds of religions and all of their leaders and founders have a say and they have an influence over people so we need to invade that mountain let's review the mountains very quickly again number one business 
we, we are tired of poor and broke churches, poor and broke Christians, poor and broke people. Hallelujah. We are tired of unbelievers controlling the wealth and the finances and allowing a few people to just scrounge for resources. It's not of God. It's devilish. More sinners will go to hell as a result of poverty than lack of preachers. Hallelujah. Second mountain. Sorry? Politics and governance. Someone can sit down and legislate that land should not be sold for church building again. Is that true? No matter how anointed you are, you will suffer from that legislation. Recently, the gay movement was tested a bit in our Senate. I thank God because there is a level of decorum we have. Hallelujah. Our National Assembly has not derailed from the value of the kingdom that much and so they just kicked it out at once there are countries today that they have passed certain bills into law and they did not call any preacher or pastoral association for their consultation so two people can decide to get married listen carefully a man and a man and they can choose the church they want to join them and as a pastor, if you don't join them, they will withdraw your license. Sue you, lock up your church, pack up everything. Hallelujah. This is very disastrous. So we need men who have the fear of God. Men who understand the values of the kingdom to invade our government. Hallelujah. The Ten Commandments is not kicked out by herbalists. It's kicked out by parliament people. People who sit down and legislate on behalf of the kingdom. We can keep praying in tongues and throwing ourselves up and down. But so long as there are people who are legislating things that are not consistent with the will of God. It's terrible. In China, you cannot have more than a child now. One is okay. Praise God. It's terrible. They carry out free abortions before they pay women's salary. If by any reason, whether knowingly or unknowingly, your husband gets you pregnant, you are in for it. What did I say? Whether knowingly or knowingly. That is none of their business. You have one child, that's enough. Because they are trying to control whatever they want to control. It's terrible. So we need people there. Number three. Family life. How many of you agree with me that family life is in a mess right now? It needs a reordering. Hallelujah. The boundaries that have been kept have been taken away. We do not even know where the boundaries are again. And this is why this series is important. But let's just review the other mountains. You can get all of this in our teachings on the kingdom. The fourth mountain. Education. Very important. For as long as we keep teaching people. You know I told you one of our dreams is by the time God gives us an opportunity. We are going to build a school a world-class school i've shared it with the leaders we will build a school and there are three courses we are going to add to the curriculum one is called spiritual growth financial education and koinonia these are three courses that our students must offer hallelujah for you to write why they say you must pass mass and english for us you must pass mass english financial education and spiritual growth yeah we keep raising intellectuals who have no fear and no knowledge of God. And their knowledge makes them fools. The Bible says there were two trees in the garden. One, the tree of life. The other, the tree that brings the knowledge of both good and evil. Hallelujah. The fifth mountain. Arts and entertainment. Very important. Hallelujah. Some of you are gifted and skilled fashion designers, beauticians. And so on and so forth. We need people to carry the value system. We don't want the world teaching us how to dress. Coming with every kind of junk and everything. We don't want the world controlling us. Let the best footballers be tongue-talking Christians. Let the best golfers be tongue-talking Christians. Who can say no to every Jezebel that wants to come and throw down their destiny. Hallelujah. We need to take the value system of the kingdom. Mountain number six, the media. I look forward to times when 
we will not just own see i truly believe that during our time owning a television station will be like owning a handset hallelujah we're talking about satellites we're not talking about television stations hallelujah owning satellites and we pay for the bill for decades ahead of time we can do anything we want to do nobody comes to tell us what to put on air or what to take out of air how to culture and edit our words when you're listening to christian programs and someone says a vulgar word they have ways of canceling it there are other programs that when you are mentioning the things of god they cancel it the same way that is nonsense can't stand begging the government for permission and airtime and they give us five minutes and ten minutes if we want to worship for the whole day let's have it thank god for the ministries that have television stations it's a breath of fresh air in this wild jungle of babylon where everything can just be posted online hallelujah then the last mountain is the mountain of religion religion has caused more harm to the body so all kinds of things we need men who will rise up this is where you talk about the fivefold authentic christianity and i'm glad to announce to you that nigeria will present the true portrait of apostolic christianity to the world yeah this is true hallelujah the mantle left uk in the days of smith wigglesworth and went down to america and they merchandised it by their intercourse with babylon and it left to asia and now it's returned to africa we will show the world the true portrait of what true apostolic christianity is if you believe that say amen, amen. so today we're going to consider one of the mountains family life pastor jake started it how many of you were blessed celebrate him may god cause men to celebrate you just the way you did selfish people <laughs> hallelujah don't worry i'm just joking you're not selfish people you're spirit-filled champions and generals on your way to tear down the walls of evil <laughs> hallelujah so now please understand this we are going to be very comprehensive in this series we're not just talking about for many people when they just talk about um relationship the circumference of our dealing is just a guy a lady how they should get into a relationship and they stop there uh -uh. the journey starts from knowing yourself down till fatherhood raising children and that's why it's called family life it's not called relationship series right family life so it's a journey praise the lord i want you to listen because the lord told me he will answer a lot of questions tonight and i know a few people i hope they are here i told them to be here who sent me a lot of questions you know about several confusions that they've had along this area and i told them look just come for the program god bless you pastor jake started by talking about a godly relationship and we want to bring believers into an understanding of the biblical principles that govern godly relationships and family life everybody say after me i'm a christian that means i'm a child of god that means I'm not of the world. That means I have the value system of the kingdom. Yeah, that's true. You have the value system of the kingdom. You are not of the world. You cannot afford to do things the way people are just doing it. And it's very sad. Please look up. It's very sad. Over 90% of us in this place have learned everything we learned about relationship and family life either from media or our friends or our bitter experiences hallelujah there are few ministries that pay the price to talk about family life and the principles of godly relationships and you see what you don't teach people when you don't teach people certain principles they learn just anything that comes is that correct there are pastors that castigate and condemn people and get angry at their members because they don't seem to be excelling in this area but then they will not teach the truth the bible says faith comes by hearing when when adam said 
the Lord, the Bible says in, in Genesis 3, it says, and he heard the voice of God walking in the cool of the day. And he said, Adam, where are thou? Adam said, I heard your voice, but I hid. Why? Because I was naked. And God said, who told you? In other words, that's an information you got from somewhere. So everything you have today that constitutes your mindset was told you by somebody. The Bible says, Paul speaking, he says, there are, as it were, many voices in the earth. And none of them are without effect. So we're going to be considering a lot of things. This is a very life transforming series. And I want you to pay your rapt attention. Hallelujah. There are many people who were taught nothing about love, nothing about relationship, nothing about sex, nothing about marriage, nothing about the dignity of keeping yourself. They just, our parents just hoped that we will find the truth. Hallelujah. That has resulted to bitter casualty in the lives of many people. But tonight the Lord brings light in the name of Jesus. Very important. And the church that is supposed to be an apostolic molding place, the potter's house, where men are built and fashioned, they've either shied away from it and are not ready to take responsibility in that area and teach and train the people. Because we have this demonic teaching that these kinds of teaching should not be taught in church. We have this religious spirit. Is that true? There are churches that would dare not talk about things like this. They feel all that there is in the life of someone is just teach people how to be built spiritually, how to pray in tongues, how to love God. But those people who enter a relationship, is that true? While they are praying, the guy sees the lady and likes her. Now he doesn't know how to manage what is happening to him. Or the guy wants to get married and all he has been taught to do is pray in tongues and see visions in the realm of the spirit and fall under the anointing and he does not know how to help himself. There are many anointed children in the body of Christ. We are only sophisticated when it comes to spiritual things but when it comes to the wisdom of living in our social environment many Christians are dull of understanding. Is that true? Many Christians live like fools in their social environment because we lack the wisdom. So you see an unbeliever who does not know God, doesn't respect the ways of God, but has a lot of wisdom when it comes to living in life. Wisdom for life. Many church folks lack this. Hallelujah. That's why you can see, for instance, unbelieving ladies. You never see a guy who just gets up like that and comes to them. But every time you want to see nonsense that happens is Christian girls. Any man that feels is emotionally troubled and he just wants to sleep around with any lady, they know how to find Christian girls. Hallelujah. And that's not because the Christian girls are bad. That's because we the preachers who should build and help them and teach them the truth are being irresponsible. All of us. Let me tell you something. Never pray for a crowd or for membership if you cannot teach and train the people. Are you listening to me? You have no business having people in your congregation if you are not ready to build them. Praise the Lord. And by the grace of God, it's our goal to build people holistically. So sometimes you see us teach on character. And it looks as if that is all there is in God. Then we teach about the principles of the spirit and the anointing. We teach on finance. We teach on purpose, the kingdom, destiny. It's important to touch on every aspect. So that we will have believers that are built and fashioned. If you believe that, say amen. amen. Right, so um, Pastor Jake started with the basics of relationship. Please, let's run through it. I have a lot to cover tonight and I trust God for grace in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The first thing Pastor Jake started telling us and everybody I want you to look up, inside and outside. Listen to me. Lift your hands, everybody. Say, I receive the spirit of meekness. Say one more time. I receive the spirit of meekness. I humble myself to hear, to understand, to receive, and to learn. Pride is a, is a killer. 
there are many people who because of pride and arrogance will not listen many people will believe they know what they are doing just listen hallelujah praise the lord the first thing we need to define is the concept of love pastor jake said that very extensively i will run through it one of the biggest challenges please let me have one guy and one lady here quickly one here one here anybody taiwo quickly please appreciate them hallelujah now listen i want you to know that a man is not another woman every lady say that a man is not another woman ladies say woman is not another man very important the concept of love from the perspective of a man is far different from love what love is for a woman are you following me now the bible says that when god brought man into being all that was man's focus was purpose destiny are you following me now and honor and authority man was conscious of his place the honor the authority and everything god has given him and so very quickly i want to go very straight to the point every time you talk of love from a man's perspective it means two things number one honor number two respect everybody say love for a man means number one number two no matter how you claim or think you are loving a man if that concept of love does not translate to genuine honor or respect you have not loved the man by his definition are you following me now very important ladies understand this when it comes to dealing with a man men can kill because of respect are you listening to me men can kill you call somebody mister when you should call him chief he can sue you he can make sure you die for that statement is that true men can kill you call somebody a pastor who you should call a reverend or a reverend who you should call a bishop or a brother who you should call an apostle or prophet or whatever he can kill you for it sister your beauty can fade at once like a leaf if you disrespect a brother are you listening to me oh it's it's not about ego ladies think it's ego is is our configuration by design you will never get the best of a man if you do not understand what love means from the perspective of the man so what does love mean sisters honor and respect what does it mean to honor to hold in high esteem to hold in high esteem as we explore this you will know the reason why some relationships will never work and some homes will never come together it doesn't matter what kind of message is preached it's not just about satan and demons let's get the fundamental thing straight so love means respect and honor when you respect the guy you respect his assignment you respect his call you respect his purpose that's the circumference of what love means for a guy very important it was on account listen to me ladies never forget this never forget this your primary ministry or a fixed ministry that god has put for every lady is to be a help meet for the man so it doesn't matter what crusades you have to do in the future it was the first mention of a woman was to be able to help the man in his assignment is that true the bible says and god said it is not good for the man i have created and given an assignment to be alone it is not good he said and i will make a help meet a help suitable ladies say i'm a help suitable say it with confidence i'm a help suitable because there are some of you that have gone through things in life that have abused this statement you feel that you are not a help to somebody we'll talk about that you are a help suitable and the bible says her desire shall be to her husband her desire shall be to her husband so when you love the man 
you respect him you honor him sarah called abraham lord it's not a sign of worship the word lord means there i esteem you there is a beautiful position that god has given a man and a woman and ladies hear me this is very important because there is a satanic movement trying to awaken women in quote to their rightful place and while that has worked well it has crossed the boundary are you following me now where ladies believe that they can be a man ladies believe they can be everything there are all kinds of foundations rising up orchestrated by demons that are bringing ladies into rebellion against their husbands and in the home and they think let me tell you something your respect for the man especially when you get married is not just a function of his ability to provide a loan while that is true if your respect for the man is tied just because of his ability to provide you are violating scripture because agape is love without conditions it is a position that god has put you is somebody hearing what i'm saying we have to rush now we come to the world of the ladies guys listen very carefully love does not mean purpose for the lady get it very clearly visionless brothers destiny shaking men of god i announce to you that love for the lady has nothing to do with your destiny carry your destiny and your crusades and your one million salvation target and pack it away when you are talking about love from the sister's perspective sisters if i'm talking can you say amen because some of you have been trying to tell the guy you are so happy that he's seated near you now you say oh god let him say it god has answered your prayer already hallelujah you see because of the fragile nature the fragile nature of the lady and her emotional configuration did you know that the emotional configuration of a lady was designed on purpose are you following me now there are some of you ladies you are trying to make yourselves become men stop it two men cannot live in the same home hallelujah god designed this side of you to be able to compliment the man some ladies are as hard as a rock as hard as a rock it's not a gift to your husband no it's not a gift no man that i know would cherish that i'm not talking of i mean being strong and stable i'm talking of being hard insensitive emotionless you are a man you are not a woman a woman was not designed that way a woman was designed to respond a man was designed to absorb a woman will respond are you learning something those outside if you are following me say amen hallelujah so love for a lady means number one it means attention all guys say attention, attention. say it attention. attention in fact let me say it the way i say it all the time maximum care and attention write it <laughs> those who are guilty are laughing maximum what it's like a graph you know that song nothing no place you must gauge that tape ladies will stretch you until they see the highest of the attention listen let me tell you something guys attention for a lady is almost like purpose for you when you do not give a lady attention and now we are going to define what we mean because this word is falling on different soils. We need to redefine it. Hallelujah. It means care. Everybody say care. care. You must be caring. To be caring means to be sensitive to needs. To be concerned. It means time. Everybody say time. Very important. Time. It means affection. Affection. This is an emotional bonding. Not sex. 
emotional bonding for God's sake. Emotional bonding. If you want to be a priest, go to the seminary. If you want to get into a relationship, open your heart and allow that emotional dimension to find expression in every relationship. Praise the Lord. So, for the guy, what's the difference? Now, that does not mean, listen, please understand this. That does not mean these other qualities I mentioned in the lady are not appreciated in the life of the man. Are you following me now? But according to the order of priority. So if, if you're going out with Taiwo now and you meet and you say, Taiwo, do you know what the Lord is doing in our midst? How was that meeting? And Taiwo is looking at you. She's smiling because she's trying to respect you. But I assure you, she's not hearing what you are saying. Praise the Lord. Guaranteed she's not hearing what you are saying. You ate her food, licked the plate. You didn't even say whether the food is nice or not. This lady took out time, bought these heels. How many of you have seen these heels? Brothers, don't tell lies. If you appreciate it, clap for her, Jerry. And you just come with your anointing that has blinded your eyes. And all you see is souls, even on your wife who is already saved. Ladies, tell the brothers, change! Shout it again. Change. Ah, you are in for a shock this night. We've not started though. Hallelujah. So look up please. We have a lot to cover. Respect and honor. There are many of you ladies. You are so rude, hostile. You wonder why no guy comes around you. Because they see themselves every time they see you. disrespectful you are rude cruel you don't talk to anybody with respect that's how i am no brother wants to mortgage his prophetic destiny for that kind of wife is that true brothers let me tell you something don't you think prayers is covering the eyes of the brothers they are watching oh yes they are watching the bible says be wise like serpents. The brothers are watching. They are watching you as you are doing this, this manly thing you are doing. No respect. You are just shouting at the guy. And somebody that has been trusting God just says, Lord, thank you for answering my prayers. I've, I've received from you. Every man is looking for a woman who will compliment him. Ladies, I want to give you a big shocker right now. There's no man that I know who is looking for a preacher. Everybody is looking for a woman who can be a wife to him. He's already a preacher. He doesn't need another one. Ladies have this funny thing that they, you feel the more you are entering the anointing, the more attractive you are becoming for the guy. It's such a big mistake. The guy is looking at his children. He already knows he's busy. You are busy just like him. The guy is looking at who can help, who can cook at home. You're already going for five crusades in a week. He won't marry you. He doesn't want to die for nothing. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? That's why we have a welfare department to help us. We can fast happily. Why? There is a consolation. Imagine if all we have is prayer band. We're in trouble as the ministers. Hallelujah. Please appreciate both of them. God bless you. So we have to get it clear. Love is very, very important. When the concept of love is not defined from the kingdom perspective, there is going to be chaos and anarchy. Hallelujah. Have you seen a lady look at a guy? Guys, when the lady comes to you and says you are selfish. Ah! Me, selfish. I'm providing money. I'm paying the children's school fees. Hallelujah. And the lady is saying you are selfish. And you are now wondering, is it that I'm not purpose driven? 
Am I not praying enough? What she's saying is, you are not defining love from my perspective. Are you following me now? Very important. Now, before we start, Pastor Jake spoke about it here, but let me define certain things. The qualities that a guy must have before you think of entering a relationship and a lady. We have to talk about that quickly. There are qualities. Listen. Please look up. If these qualities are not in you, and you have been dreaming of asking a lady out in this place, you better wake up from that dream. Wake up in Jesus' name. The Bible says, Arise, thou that sleepest, and let Christ give you light. So wake up tonight and listen. There are many brothers that think because you are macho and broad-chested and tall, dark and handsome, it just means that every lady is standing desperate like a leaf. Better repent of your pride and listen to these qualities that we have to explain. Is anybody following me tonight? I already told you to laugh from the beginning. Look up, please. The Bible says for us to have no business with the unfruitful work of darkness. Before you even consider a relationship or marriage with anybody, let me tell you something. That person must be genuinely born again. Write it. This is not part of the quality. This is what even qualifies you to begin to look at other qualities. Must be born again. We live in a generation where ladies are becoming the Holy Spirit who have the exclusive ability to change any Romeo they like. Let me tell you something. Come out of what you watched in that Nigerian film. Don't get up and go and yoke. See, look up. Every lady, every true godly lady must submit herself to the man. The only choice you have is to choose the kind of head you submit to. Hallelujah. Don't choose any kind of head that will come and kill you. He must be born again. What does it mean to be born again? To submit to the governing authority of Christ. The governing authority of the word. A man that does not submit to the word of God can kill you. There is nothing to give him boundaries. There is nothing to define the terms of his relationship or marriage with you. There is nothing to convict him. You can't afford to go out with a man who is not born again. There are many of us, it's those that are not born again that you like. You say they are nicer than the brothers. But they will take you to hell. And you won't see any of the brothers in hell. We are all going to heaven. Hallelujah. Say he must be born again. Guys say she must be born again. Every lady. That threw every great man in the Bible and in history were nice and beautiful ladies. Most of them did not have respect for the things of God. Hallelujah. If you marry a lady that is not born again and is not serious with God, some of you say, uh-uh, but the guy is nice. Say that day Pastor Jakes even saw him. Didn't he greet you, sir? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Listen, I'm answering a lot of questions here. Do not confuse morality with the presence of the Holy Spirit in a man. Are you listening to me? Willpower can only take you so far. You do not know the power of, I mean, Satan and demons outside of the word of God. When you know that, you will know that morality is not enough. See, let me tell you something. You can get a course you don't like for five years. You can struggle it, wrestle it, complain about it and just finish. But when you get married, after 40 years, that man will change and wreck your life. And you will wish you were dead. Some of you, that's the case in your families. Now you have an opportunity to choose. Hallelujah. So are you ready now? Now, there are certain qualities that a Christian brother should have 
We're, we're not talking about marriage yet. We're talking about relationships now. So every brother, every Christian brother or Christian sister that desires a godly relationship, we expect you to be building yourselves or to have built yourselves in this area. Hallelujah. Now, ladies, look up. I know that if I'm to call two or three ladies now, we don't have the time and ask you, what kind of man do you want? You first smile and say, hey. Hallelujah. You just carry your handbag. It's already written there. Because you've been praying about it. You bring out your hundred point agenda list. The guy must have the ability to carve his eyebrows. He must understand about nail filing and the rest. We don't want a brother with oil on his face as if they fried egg on the face. He must be posh and clean. Oh, you think we don't know? <laughs> Hallelujah. I like a brother that will do this, do that, do that. You want a brother that is exposed. Don't want anybody who will be disgracing you in the public. Praise God. You go to a restaurant before they say anything. They've not even prayed. They have started disgracing you. He thinks he's in his room. Now you are embarrassed. Ladies have a lot of things. But let me tell you tonight. Look up please. All those things will not work. Period. Did you hear me? All those things will what? Because even you, you are not prepared for that kind of man. The only man that fits all those qualities you are writing is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not looking for a wife. But he has made us his ambassadors. Are you listening to me? You cannot say, oh, this guy must be. There are ladies who are so meticulous Say, if I look at his skin, he must be fresh and this. Let me not see any funny thing. He must be without blemish. No, the lamb that will be slain. Listen, it's not wrong. It's just childish. You wrote it when you were in secondary school. Now you came to the university. Tear it, you are growing. That's, that's just the remedy. What you need is not deliverance. It's just growth. The Bible says, when I was a child, you were writing that when you were trying to keep yourself busy to write SSC. This is almost 10 years now. Tear that thing. Grow up. Face a real world like a woman and a man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are certain virtues, Pastor Jakes called them, and I'll write it, cardinal virtues. That means there are some virtues that eventually they will develop themselves. Listen, ladies, look at me. If you are looking for a perfect man, you have no ministry in the life of that man. Are you listening to me? The purpose of the lady is to complete the man. To help his inadequacy. So if you are looking for a man who is already perfect, you don't have a ministry in the life of that man. Praise the Lord. Mm. Are you getting blessed? Alright ladies, what qualities should you look for in, in the guy? And guys, these are the qualities you should be building yourself in. Number one, honesty and sincerity. Quality number one. Any guy coming around your life who is not honest and sincere, pack your load and run. Don't pray about it. I'm already telling you the answer. Run. Honesty and sincerity. The brother must be honest must be sincere you can't be at the back of ribadu that you know that part that dark part you are just sitting there and they just call and say ah maybe your wife or your girlfriend or whatever calls you and say ah I've, I've arrived lagos sky i just got there right now and she says are you serious well, how was the journey? She said, I'll call you later. I'm even too tired. She said, I understand. Immediately you drop. You just lie to the girl that is a distance call. It's your relative from UK that is calling you. No sincerity. 
Or you're calling one lady and the lady just comes and you pick up the call. You say, ah, you safe. As, as the money entered, that's not enter. Hurry up now. Don't waste my time. I, I have a beautiful girl here to buy something for her. Why are you wasting my time? And you are lying. Sisters, are the brothers not like that? Brothers, don't feel bad. You know me. I always balance the equation. <laughs> Hallelujah. A dishonest brother will produce a dishonest husband, a dishonest father, a dishonest leader, and will kill you. Are you listening to me? Deal ruthlessly with dishonesty. It's better for the brother to say, Mio, I'm trusting God. God has not helped me yet. This shoe you are seeing is my only one. This trouser is the only one. This shirt is the only one. But the spirit of faith is in me. You are seeing me pray in every koinonia. I'm sweating in your presence. You are seeing that we are flogging out this thing. The door will open one day. Is that correct? Many of you ladies, you like guys lying to you. You have itchy ears. You like it so. The guy just comes to you and he's laughing and he just says, Hi, how are you? And this is not how he speaks. So just because you came. And the guy comes and he's bouncing and he likes you. And he says, oh, Sweetheart, I was wondering. Um, he said, Let me talk to this guy. I need to be at the airport tomorrow. What's your tomorrow like? I'm going to take the first flight tomorrow. I have to be back. There's something my, my dad sent a consignment. And can you imagine? This is boys. You know, they are taking my humility for granted. And the lady's melting. Hey. You know it's a lie. Your roommates are watching from their window. You know it's a lie. You like it so. You go back and you carry the lie and you are telling your roommates. You are, you are saying it as if you don't believe him. But you are saying it to increase your reputation. You are claiming that you don't like it. But you are telling everybody, shut up if you don't like it. Why are you telling everybody? Say, can you imagine? That guy came and met me and he was talking about one airport in me. He wants to play with me. Sister B, can you imagine? That guy, and you are claiming that you are not enjoying what he's saying. <laughs> Honesty. Number two. The guy must be teachable. Ladies say teachability. Any brother that is not teachable is going to drown you. You will follow him together and enter an ocean of trouble and he will drown you. And brothers, this is where we have to be very careful. Because you see, we guys are egotistic in nature. Are you following me now? It's very difficult. There are some brothers here. God must help you tonight. Your deliverance has started. From your culture, women don't talk to men. From your culture, women don't advise men. Is that true? Some of you are from royal families. And you are taking your village everywhere you go. Even inside your relationship. So you are with the lady and she's trying to advise you and she's saying, um, sweetheart, have you considered this? We said, look, let this be the last time. Even the Bible said, wives, submit. Submit means shut up. Don't try me, oh. You are entering the fire and the lady is saying, honey, look at this. We are entering fire. Say, which fire? Guys, fire is burning. You are saying, which fire? Where is the fire? And later you carry the girl and put together in the fire and it's burning two of you. Later you say, ah, it's true. This thing looks like fire. When it has burnt you and it's almost killing you. Brothers, be teachable. It's not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of great strength. These ladies may look like they don't know anything, but I tell you something. If you are humble and you can listen, you will learn a lot of things. Any brother that is not teachable and arrogant and just believes you are the alpha and omega of that relationship, the lady should shut up. Even if she's speaking nonsense, one day she'll say something that is sensible. You must listen. Many husbands have entered into trouble many husbands have done different things that that one plot of land that somebody came to swindle you land of 10 million you sold it for 2 million your wife was telling you be careful be careful say be careful for what all these women they are too emotional there are many of you if you will be teachable you know what teachability is teachability is 
your willingness to learn and your willingness to accept when you're wrong. That's why we taught ourselves in our character building series on four words. What's the first one? Can you remember, everybody? What's the first one? Please. You must say please. What's the second one? I'm sorry. Apologize when you're wrong. Number three. Thank you. You must tell people if they do good for you 20 times, say thank you 20 times. What's the last one? God bless you. You must bless people. So you must be teachable. Let's hurry up. Number three. Brothers, you must be visionary and responsible. There are many guys, you have not finished managing yourself. Don't add a woman into it. There are many guys, you, you have not led yourself. You don't have self-management. You are careless. You are indisciplined. Now you want to bring another lady and add her into your predicament. You must be visionary. When you hold a lady and say, we are going out, where are you going to? I always give this example. How many of you have climbed bike? And the bike man told you, you were asking him, do you know this place? Do you know CGC? Before he finished, he said, yes. Later, he starts going with you. He just passes somewhere. He said, oh, God, this is not the road. He said, oh, sorry, I forgot. Then he turns back. Later, he comes and just passes and he's heading towards Rema. And you say, oh, God, stop. Do you know where we are going? He said, I thought you knew the place. That's how many guys are. You just bring the bike and hit the seat and tell the lady, oh, yeah, climb. The lady, I used to say, climb. Is it not me? Once they climb from gear one, you go to the last one. You are just speeding. The lady says, sorry, you, where are we going? He says, leave me. Are we not, have we arrived there? Be patient. After 10 years, you have not defined where you are going. Never go out with any guy you don't know where he's taking you to. You better know where you are going, you no? Know? Don't lead yourself like a sheep to the slaughter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Very important. He must be responsible psychologically. <laughs> a guy who is always crying like a baby does not need relationship. He needs help and growth. Somebody just say, Kai, your hair is looking bushy. He's crying. It's the lady that says, come. <laughs> he says, see, things happen like that. The guy says, why is everybody doing to beat me? <laughs> you are embarrassing the lady. They'll say, Abba, sister, is it that there was no guy? Which baby did you go and carry like this? You enter a program, there's a seat here. They say, sorry, stand up for somebody else. The guy's already crying. The lady now stands up to hold him. I say, don't cry. You are not ready for a relationship, my brother. Please, please, please. Focus on your finances or something else, your spiritual life. Because let me tell you something. There are pressures you are going to absorb in your life. Hallelujah. As a leader, you don't let people see your tears anyhow. It will kill their spirits. Hallelujah. Every lady needs a man that she can be secured around. A man that can protect her. I was told of a story that armed robbers came somewhere. Open this door now. Bow, bow, bow. The man just tapped the wife and said, stand up. No, he, he was pretending like he was sleeping. She just said, honey... Honey, as if you were thinking, honey, you must wake up. Oh. Are you hearing what is happening? You say, I'm hearing now. Why would you just keep quiet? The guy was sweating and shaking. True life story. The woman got up and started praying in tongues around her house. They were shouting, if you let us open this door by ourselves, this and that and that. Do you know that eventually when the arm robbers left and the woman came, she found the man dead. Yeah. What killed him? So who is protecting who? There are many of you, you like women, but you are very fearful. You don't have courage. You are not emotionally balanced. Please don't think of getting into a relationship that you'll be crying all the time. As if you are going to JS1. You know how people go to JS1 and they cry. At a point, the lady is feeling, oh God, did you bring me to protect this? What did you bring me to do in this life? You are not a man. Hallelujah. So, that, that's it for the guys. Cardinal virtues. Ladies, brothers, 
if you love your destiny and where God is taking you, make sure you look at this. <laughs> Number one, the ladies must be submissive. Every lady says submission. Look up, please. Submission is not weakness. Submission is the ability to bring your strength under control. Are you following me now? What is submission? The ability to bring your strength under control. You see this from many of our mothers. The man can be shouting, saying something, and, and our mothers are not wrong, but they will just keep quiet. You will be wondering and say, if I were my mother, eh? Abba, we entered the same trouser. Say, my mother, my father is always doing with her. She's even doing like Musev. Eh? All these village with me. Abba, no man can try that. You better shut up. Oh. You better shut up. Because your mother was once a young CC like you and was bouncing like that. Ask her why she's calm now. Hallelujah. Many ladies have this funny. There are many things that we are doing that we don't know is childishness. This night you will see that it's just sheer childishness. Hallelujah. Submission. Very important. Bringing your strength under control. Number two. Can you imagine? I'm, I'm just summarizing what Pastor Jakes has already preached. So we have to run. Number two, teachability. Ladies, you must also be teachable. There are some ladies, Gamaliel. You always teach everybody. Gamaliel was the person who taught Paul. Some of you are Gamaliel. You sit in the midst of brothers. Do you know that? The brother comes to talk to you. Yeah, just like a Proverbs this and that said. This and that. And you think you are impressing him. The guy just gets up. Just tells his friend, babe, I'm to me now. let's just go somewhere. That's not it. It's not the way forward. This is nonsense. As you are talking, the lady is just saying, this is not a wife, this is a man. You are not teachable. There are some of you, no man can sit you down and talk to you. No man. You do something, so even if he's a pastor, you do something, Pastor Jack said, alright, two of you come to see me. He say, me, see you. Nobody brought me into this world, though. Even my father doesn't. You see that? So who do you want to come and marry you? Who do you want? Be fair. Who do you want to come and marry this kind of trouble? Hmm. Teachability. Number three. Sisters, you must be physically attractive. The brothers are not just spirits. They dwell in bodies. They have eyes. My friend Ejimi says, love is blind. Marriage will open your eyes. Sisters, look up. Brothers, look up too. My brother, you better don't deceive yourself. If you are going far, huh? and you don't want to run it. Now, when I talk of beauty, beauty is a relative statement. But you must, don't carry a lady that you will not be proud of. Huh? You just see somebody says, my younger is just my younger sister. Or you just look and say, oh, there's one lady that is disturbing me. Oh, me, ma, I'm tired. I don't know what to do. You kill the lady. If you behave to a lady like that, you don't deserve her. Get out of her life and let the person who deserves her come in. Are you following me? Very important. Don't find yourself. You must be proud of the lady ladies be physically attractive that does not mean be pornographic or nude you are a christian it means be nice you are young don't celebrate your 50th birthday when you are 22 be patient the time will come and all the brothers say amen it doesn't mean you must have all the money look we are watching brothers are happy when they see a nice sister, you are, you, are, you are taking care of yourself. How much is powder? The type we use, how much is it? The type you use is 10,000. That's too expensive. Get the normal. Who will know? Who will know? It's only among yourself, ladies, that you know. Will we know? See, a lady just comes, there's, there's fats on your face oily face you are just moving walking anyhow you are just walking any you can't even compose yourself they are sharing food join the line you want to collect you are doing 
all these kind of attitudes, the brothers are watching. You need to tell yourself, myself, behave. Behave. The Bible says you are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. Behave. Hallelujah. You must be physically attractive. If you have one shirt, iron it. Don't carry a shirt that is twice your size. Yes, your mother gave it to you. Adero tell us. Reduce it. Abba. Must everybody know it was a gift? You just carry needle and fold it and fold it and clip it. Can they reduce it? The brothers are not idiots. Why we are praying in tongues? Shut <laughs> Yeah. Please, brothers, look for what looks like your future. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can I come to the brothers now? Oh, I must come. You know me. Hallelujah. You see, Archbishop Benson Idahosa said, don't criticize anybody until you have done twice what the person has done once. Hallelujah. Brothers, if you want that kind of glamorous lady, you must start working on yourself as up. Are you following me now? There are many brothers, you are bushy, you don't comb your hair, the dust is dry season, but you still see at the back of your shoe mud of rainy season. You are no, I will talk. You must be physically attractive. You wear one, one singlet for two months. It's easy to wear something on top. Who will know? You can't buy perfume of 500 naira. You just come, you are sweating, they say, hug your neighbor before they do anything you want to hug. How much is sure? At least that's the basic one. Listen, you are a leader. You don't bob your hair. This side is more than this side. It's not like maybe it's a style. It's just disorganization of your hair. Because for a long time, you can't even go to the barbing salon and say, just have it, let it be nice. You finish bathing, even oil. You just, you are trying to comb it. You don't know whether it's back or front. You throw the comb away and get up. Just come for koinonia. And you just come and you are smiling. You think it's everybody that is smiling with you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Your, your clothes are always rumpled. Always. Always. Always rumpled. Hmm? Go and wear one kind of thing and carry one one kind of tie. You will stop here. You will now wear it and you are coming and you are just eyeing the sister. She's not looking at you. I assure you. I assure you. I assure you she's not looking at you. Hallelujah. Help us, Holy Spirit. We have to run. You must be physically attractive both parties be smart we are not saying go and borrow everybody's clothes to come for koinonia with uh -uh. if you have been doing it stop it's not necessary God has blessed you God has blessed you hallelujah you are borrowing your roommate's shoe every week the day your roommate says it's coming for miracle service too on that day you wear your palms and sit outside even if you palms you have wear it honorably polish it can I tell you something, brothers? I discovered something with ladies. They are not as materialistic as we think. I tell you, there are some ladies that love God and they are willing to start and go with you only if you will be honest. Sisters, is that true? It's not all of you that should say yes because some of you are very materialistic. I'm coming to you. So this was a summary of what Jake shared. Hallelujah. Very important. So how many of us have been blessed by those qualities? 
How many of us know that there are some of them we need to walk in ourselves? Don't lie now. Lift your hands. Don't pretend. I appreciate your honesty. This is why we are here. And God is helping us. Do you know why you need to work on these qualities? It doesn't mean you have to be perfect. But make sure there are honest efforts. Are you following me now? So that you can be a blessing to one another. Everybody say, I'm not a curse. I'm a blessing. Say one more time, I'm not a curse. I'm a blessing. Hallelujah. Alright, so we're going to talk quickly about entering into a relationship now. The process. The process of entering into a relationship. Again, let me have one lady and one guy. Please, can we have them quickly? Quickly, we have to. One lady, Taiwo, please come again. Aaron, God bless you. One lady and one guy. Hallelujah. Please look up. There is no crime. Everybody look up, please. There is no crime, brother, in seeing a sister that you love and you find yourself affectionate about. It does not make you unspiritual. Emoji, hello. <laughs> Can you hear me? There is no crime. <laughs> there is no crime. Hallelujah. When you find out as a brother, a good Christian brother, hearing the word in a, in a, in a meeting like, look at Koinonia, inside, people are inside, outside. Now you, are, you have been seeing this sister, she's in the choir. Her name is Taiwo. Hallelujah. Always ministering. Something is moving. Something is changing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please listen. I have to rush. We have to be out of here. Now, listen, brothers. When you want to end, let me look at. Look at me. Do you know why this thing keeps backfiring for some brothers? Let me tell you one of the reasons. The Bible says the labor of the fool will weary him. Not because there is no road. He doesn't know the road to the city. The reason why many of you, it's not necessary because you are not nice. You don't know how to do this thing. You will not seek advice. You will not seek counsel. You just see a lady like this after Koinonia. Worship team. They are holding their hands to pray. You can't even wait. Let them finish the prayer. You've got to stand close. You are just moving around. You can't wait. They say hug 20 people. You didn't hug anybody. You are just gallivanting around the worship team square here. As soon as they finish, just say, sister, please, can I talk to you? Now the lady said, well, for the benefit of doubt, we just finished fellowship. Say, I've been watching you. I have a policeman. You have been watching her. What else? I've been watching you. And uh, the other day, I was, I was talking with my friend just says please, please, I know where you are going please, I beg you, just save yourself any stress, it won't work you just get up and go to your room, say this koinonia lady self, now how let me just, kukuma be sitting outside you look, you, you will pray these are people that are seeing us pray they know I'm a man of God, yet you won't say yes hallelujah listen Listen. Everybody say friendship. friendship. Say it, friendship. friendship. This is the first step to entering a relationship. You can't come and meet a perfect stranger because of your unbelieving roommate did it. You just saw one, one, one lady who just came in 100 level in her innocence. Her mother told her, when you go here, don't do Now the guy just came to threaten her. And the lady, out of fear, she just said, oh yeah, yes. Because she doesn't know what to have. You too, you were inspired by that testimony. You now got up and met a Christian sister who has been hearing the word. You just come and meet her. Say, I want to marry you. Pray about it. What is wrong with you? Eh, your father did it. So what? Change. See, listen. If your wife is your best friend, that naturally tells you that the probability of finding her among your friends is very high. Correct? The best friend is the best among friends. Is that true? Some of you, you don't have friends. 
This is what makes the sister know that you are ready to enter a relationship. You don't work with anybody. You don't greet anybody. In Suddenly, ah, after miracle service, you have said Romeo and I worship him. You, you don't greet anybody. You are not in any group. After prayer, band finishes praying, you just turn. You are, on your, you are always alone. You are talking alone as if you are out of your mind. When the sister starts seeing you near, she's even afraid. She doesn't know whether you are fine or not. Something wrong with this brother? Does he need counseling? You must be friendly. Are you listening to me? Listen. Guys, let me give you a big secret. If you can make a lady laugh genuinely and sincerely, you have taken some good steps into that journey. I give you a tip that will work for you. Hallelujah. Don't carry your boring boring life. Your roommates should test run whether you are sociable or not. They are always running away from you. Ah! Flog it in your room first before you go and disgrace yourself. To one lady. You are in love. You are pretending like you are not in love. You are just boning your face and coming to the girl. You say, can I see the girl? Say, I'm busy. Come now, you yourself. Be friends. One of the best ways of being friends is join a department. Join a department. One of the benefits of a department is that it will help your social life. Is that true? The worship team are so, so, if you see them, you'll be amazed. They love one another. Some of them were not like that when they started. Is that true? The ushers, ushers, are you there? They love themselves. Who do you love? Who loves you? You don't know. When you enter, when, see, service in the house of God is a big helper to take you out of inferiority and complex. They'll tell you lead prayer. Now you lead prayer. And when you lead prayer, ah, after the prayer meeting, Tyler says, wow, that was nice. So pure sisterly love, no strings attached. You too, you are happy. You didn't know how to do it. Now you can watch Aaron do it. You are, you are learning. Who will know that you don't know? Tomorrow now you come, they say, hug one another. You are making progress. Are you making progress? It's not like you are, you join the department with the intention to marry the lady. But you are becoming sociable. It's giving them an opportunity to see your sincere heart. Is that true? One day the lady comes late, you stand up for her. Ah, ah. She says, wow, that was so kind. You are learning. You are reducing your journey you don't know. Some of you come from nowhere. You see people who have been functioning, they are taking their time. You think you have the spirit of, you just run from nowhere. They don't know you, you have no history. You just came for koinonia twice. You think you want a wife, you just come and carry anybody. We won't give you our ladies like that. Come and sit down. Share the word of God. We want to be sure of the kinds of things our ladies, uh, you, they can't be praying in tongues. You come with your Babylon from wherever because you did talking for two weeks. You think it's enough to carry them. No, sir. They are not that cheap. <laughs> Hallelujah. Entering into a relationship. Take time to build friendship. See, not friendship for the purpose of relationship. Be a free person. Be happy with people. Are you listening to me? And ladies, there are some of you, you are not helping yourself. Make sure when brothers smile and greet you, you just say he likes me. Habba! You are in a church. What kind of insecurity is that? A brother smiles at you, he just hugs you. You go back and say, I've been watching. It's a lie. It's a lie. Please, this guy is pressing into God. It's a lie. Don't blackmail him. He loves God. You just see a brother like you and the next thing you start becoming edgy and funny. Everybody say friendship. So, Aaron begins to be friends. Maybe from department or something. He may be in the same department. He may be in the different department. You know, you are just serving in the house of God genuinely. It gives room for the sincerity of your heart to be tested. Are you listening to me? You are consistent in the body of Christ. At least the lady sees you. You are a face that they know around. She knows what you are hearing. You know what she's hearing. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Very important. Never go out with a guy who you don't know who is feeding him 
and you don't know what is entering his head. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The second thing is seek counsel. Seek counsel. Many people think this is an act of immaturity. Many of you do not know. Look at me, brothers. Let me give you a secret. If you don't respect us, these ladies respect us. Are you listening to me? By the time you start meandering around them, they will call us. They will say, sorry, yo, this guy has been roaming around not to be presumptuous. And you, you think you are playing smartness. Every time you see us, you will claim as if the lady is this and that, while the lady has already told us. And you'll be disgracing yourself. Hallelujah. Very important. Seek counsel. There is nothing wrong. We are not demons. You can ask Pastor Jake. There are times that he comes to tell me, ah, so so and so so person. This guy likes this person. You can even see me jumping. I'm saying, yeah. Our people are entering good relationships. There are some relationships when we hear you have entered, we start crying. We start crying. You don't know the guy, but we, we know him. Hallelujah. Please seek counsel. Seek counsel. Don't seek counsel from unbelievers. Who tell you just try oh there is an age where guys will be coming oh you will get to an age nobody will come oh just try uh -uh. hallelujah when you are entering into a relationship friendship friendship now that does not mean you cannot see i know of stories of perfect strangers they, they call it what they call it love at first sight i don't know what probability of it works in nigeria in Nigeria. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Seek counsel. And then, bless you, sir. The next step is, listen, go to God. And I, I want to talk a bit here about the concept of the will of God. Look up, please. As a brother, you love God. You are not a prophet. You are not an apostle. You are just a sincere believer who loves God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And now you see Matilda. You've been looking at her and truly, oh, genuine love, not lost. If you find out that what is wrong with you is lost, come for counseling, not relationship. Counseling. We won't condemn you, but we'll help you. Genuine love, sincere love. Now you are looking at Matilda. Ah, ah. You've sought counsel. You go to God in prayer. Listen, listen. Now, I want to correct a very erroneous concept about what people call hearing God. How many of you have heard what they call vision, seeing vision? That has put a lot of brothers under pressure. Please and please. The vision in Joel 2 was not women. Is that clear? Don't you, brothers, please. I deliver you from any heart attack you want to give yourself to force yourself to dream dreams and see visions there is nothing wrong the bible says god is at work in us both to will hallelujah i love god my heart is sincere are you following me now now aaron sees matilda and you just say oh did you have a vision it has made a lot of brothers to come with stories about their concept of the will of god because they know that if they, that's the gate pass into your life. So they, they've tried and tried. They just say, oh yeah, talk. God told me, please open the gate for me to enter. Be careful. God shows people visions. You don't see vision for any area of your life. When it comes to relationship, you suddenly become a prophet. Who sent you? Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? They, don't be embarrassed. Ah, ah, the other day you saw Rose, and ah, when you saw Rose, even you, you wouldn't lie, you were praying. The prayer point just disappeared. You cannot even know what I was saying again. And it was sincere. Ah, you try to say myself, behave, please. I'm in the presence of God. You were trying to look at Pastor Jakes, you were seeing Rose again. Ah, something is happening. Don't feel embarrassed. Are you hearing me, brothers? Don't feel embarrassed. The only thing is check it. Don't be foolish. Some of you, if you see that to you, that's God said. Uh-uh. That's not God said. Because there are some brothers that what is happening to you is just infatuation. Ah, you saw this lady's hair. 
And wow, you are smiling. One day you see her coming out of Ribadu in the morning. She has not taken her bath. You just hear and say, ah, is that the girl I saw? Ah, I've changed my mind though. And you want to marry her. She will be pregnant too. Don't forget. Help us, Holy Spirit. Is somebody getting blessed tonight? If God shows you a vision, if you are sitting and you just see Abigail, see 21. Is that how I mean now, Ribadu? Ribadu is your wife. You just say, yes, Lord. Abigail, where are you? Better come. Don't stop my destiny. You don't do that. The, listen, the Bible says, and Mary kept these things to herself. And you come, you can come to Pastor Jakes and say, sir, this is what I saw about this guy. Because I saw this about this guy. I saw this guy ab about the lady. They can be able to help you. Are you listening to me? Don't just take initiative on the strength of your vision alone. Your vision can mislead you. The Bible says we see in part. And so we what? Prophesy in part. Are you getting blessed? Please, listen. You love God. You are praying for a life partner. You are saying, oh God, please bring a lady into my life who will love you, who will fear you, who we can stand together and accomplish the purposes of God for our lives. Hallelujah. Suddenly you come for miracle service, you just see Natina. Ah. And now you, you cannot even describe what is happening to you. Mama. <laughs> now Mama is wondering, ah, ah. Aaron, what is happening? I saw this lady just once and I... Many of you feel embarrassed. You even cast it. Uh-uh. It may not be demonic. Are you listening to me? Try to establish good friendship with a person. And when you feel you've received advice and the time is ripe, listen. That takes me to the next step. Brothers have courage. Ladies don't kill. I think sisters, we need to tell the brothers this. Say brothers... We don't kill. We don't kill. Speak. Speak. Say one more time. Brothers, Brothers. Don't look at yourselves. Look at the brother. Brothers. Brothers. We, don't we don't kill. Speak. Speak. The brother says, sisters. I'm not afraid. Listen. There are some of you that kick any guy that comes. Listen, look at me. Look at me. Koinonia, hear me inside and outside. Never, please, let me start with the sisters. Never see a brother, no matter how much you esteem him, that he comes to you and then you try to just do anyhow with him and say, hey, you don't know that shoe has size. You got up. Forget, don't let Koinonia fool you. I'm not your mate. Oh. Don't be stupid. If not because of koinonia that is the house of God, you, you, you cannot see your type, you come and stand. Don't do that. Don't do that. The brother you are laughing at today, wait and see the promises of God in his life. By the time what he's speaking comes to pass, you will be amazed. Are you following me now? I was told a humorous story that there was a time Bishop Oedeko asked a part. I was told, I don't know if it's true, please. Please, so I had it too. If it's not true, accept it as fiction. There was a man of God. <laughs> and the man of God said he asked one lady and she said no. He kept quiet. Then it was, there was nothing, just the promises of God. The treasure in earthen vessels locked up inside. Later on, he asked his current wife and she said yes. Some years Later on, they were in a program and he saw the former lady. Now she was also married. And he told his wife, he said, see, I asked this woman. And she said, no. The woman walked to her and said, thank you for telling my husband no. You think that woman will sleep? Hi! The woman will say, God, no. This is how my destiny passed me by. Many of you want ready-made. You don't want to pay the price and build. Hallelujah. When a brother wants to talk to you, Please give him listening ears. 
especially when it comes with a heart of sincerity and responsibility. Even if you are not interested in the relationship, present yourself in a way and manner that will not discourage him. There are some brothers, when they ask one sister since 2010, they've not asked another one again. One day you wanted to ask the girl, she just, she was just, you were going here, she just came out, you just turned as if you want to clean a chair. No courage, your heart is failing you. Everybody say, take courage. take courage. Sisters, help our brothers. It's not easy to come and stand before a lady and start rapping and talking stories. Hallelujah. It's not easy. It takes a lot of courage. Brothers, is that true? Especially when you start giving one kind of face. As if you don't like it. You finish praying in your room. And say God change my story. Give the brother a chance. Give him a chance. Please. Hallelujah. Is that true? There are many brothers here that are sitting. They want to enter a relationship. But ladies you are hostile. You are rude. You leave an impression in the heart of the brother. That will injure him. It's not fair. Is that true? And then brothers, take it easy. I know that no means wait for a guy. So if the lady tells you no, just don't say me, I don't take no for I would. Ah, 30 missed calls between Koinonia and her room. 30 missed calls. Five text messages. 500 Naira recharge card. You have called all her friends. Take it easy, brother. Haba. Take it. Let her think. You say, I can't sleep. Uh-uh. You better check whether it's lost or love. Whatever is pursuing you, run to court. Run to court and go and flog it out with destiny. Don't be a pest around the lady like that. You are going for a lecture. You just say, ah. In fact, you know, I was about to call you. That's how you follow her. She's in the restaurant. You go there. Money that you wanted to go to Jordan Bookstore with. You paid for her food. Now you have not eaten. You are hungry. You've not done your assignment. You are failing. You are emaciating. You are dying. What is wrong with you? Your roommate say, what is wrong? You say, love. It's not love. Hallelujah. Are you learning something, please? Praise the Lord. Very important. Make sure you are convicted. There are some brothers here. Please look up and I must warn you. Everybody, say double dating is wrong. Say one more time, double dating is wrong. There are guys that have ladies in every faculty. Every faculty you have a representative. And they don't know. It's not good. You are, you are a Christian. I hope you know that we don't believe in dating. Are you listening to me? In the kingdom, there is nothing called dating. Correct? You know what dating is, ladies? Let me explain to you so that you hate it very well. Dating is that you parade many ladies. The bachelor. Ask some of them out. Sleep with some of them. Do all you can do and then start editing them one by one. One by one. One by one until you find the one that is suitable with you. You've slept with them. You've taken them out. Which lady? Do you know that every lady you see is somebody else's wife? You don't treat ladies like that. Is somebody learning something? Double dating is very wrong. Very, very wrong. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So brothers, get close to the lady. Develop courage and talk. Sisters, be open. Don't conclude on a guy and just say, this is not my kind of guy. What do you know about all your destiny? Somebody you are seeing today that you say may not be your kind of guy, may be the greatest blessing in your life. Is that true? Hallelujah. Let's rush. We have to pray. Now, Let's assume you successfully get into the relationship. Say amen. amen. So you have flogged out issues and you are now in the relationship. What do you do? Please write. These are things that you must observe while during the relationship. Number one. Practice communication. Practice what? Communication. One of the number one killer of marriages and relationships 
is no communication. Talk. No matter how bad issues are, talk. Talk. How many of you know that a quiet person can be more dangerous than a noisemaker? Because if somebody is quiet, you don't know what the person has in his heart or her heart. Talk. Talk. Hallelujah. See, because no matter how anointed you are, listen, when you get into a relationship, are you following me? Patience, come. When you get into a relationship, now let's assume Abel is going out with patience. Abel, stand up. Assuming, come now, hold up. Hold our hands. Let's save time, please. Hold our hands. Smile, you too now. Smile. All right, come. Now, they are in a relationship. Please, everybody listen. Do you know, every time people come to me for counseling and prayers for relationship, I tell them, whenever you enter a relationship, please listen. See yourself as two farmers. Are you following me now? Two farmers holding a hoe together and you are going to the farm to go and plow the land. Ready-made relationship does not exist. Write it. Everybody has weaknesses and strengths. When you say you love somebody next time, you are saying you love a sum total of their liabilities and weaknesses. Many of you want a perfect man. You want a perfect woman. You will never find it because you are not perfect yourself. Are you listening to me? Now, Ebe, where are you from? You are from Kogi. Where are you from? Now, this is Kogi. This is Benway. Two separate cultures. Is that true? Now, they love God. They all come for Koinonia, for instance. For instance. For instance. Except otherwise. For instance. <laughs> Hallelujah. She has her mindset that came from culture. He has his mindset that came from culture. Do you know that there will be frictions? Are you following me now? Those frictions are not a sign that the devil is eating you people up. They are just a sign that you are human beings. Are you listening to me? What is the remedy? Communication. Two of you sit down now. Find somewhere and sit down. Come. MD shift for them. Sit down now. We are acting with you people. Communication. Communication. Talk about it. Hallelujah. The guy does not eat pepper. You, you like pepper. You like seeing the pepper. You can carry it and put it in your mouth. The first day you make gari for him. You put pepper. You are smiling. Ah, The guy just touched it and headache just came on him. And now the brother doesn't want to talk. Ah, this pepper is killing him. He said, do you like it for him? I said, come on. This food was as sweet as you. And now you are, you are lying. Tomorrow you will suffer it again. She will make beans. Add pepper on it. She'll be telling everybody, you know my guy likes my cooking. He likes the pepper. Funny enough, this guy is dying. This pepper is killing him. Every time you eat her food, you must have a runny nose. Brother, what happened? I say, forget this. Everybody say communication. communication. Communication helps you to understand yourself. The Bible says husbands dwell with your wives according to knowledge. Love is not enough. Are you hearing me? Have you not seen a lovely roommate that you could not live with? How many of you love your roommates but you cannot take that same roommate next session? But you love them. Some of you, you that, some of you that are raising hands is your roommates that don't love you because of what you are doing. Hallelujah. Everybody say communication. It will enhance your relationship. Are you listening to me? There are many ladies that the moment you enter a relationship, you already have your expectations that only you know. I expect, at least I give this relationship five days, I should visit Chicken Republic. That's what you have in your heart. That's what you have wished and wondered. Every time I'm holding load, let the guy... That's what you have in your heart. Are you following me now? After five days, he doesn't take you out. He's paining you, but you cannot talk. Say it so that if it's not godly, you can flog it together. Are you listening to me? Communication is one of the number one killer. 
roommates that don't talk always fight. The only way to know that he's angry is when he slaps you. You say, did he really hurt you? He said, it has been paining me. Why didn't you talk, Oga roommate? Why didn't you talk? Many ladies, you are like that. You don't talk. You go and grumble to your friends and gossip to everybody and say, this guy, we went to the restaurant, Sam. They were putting the ice cream on the machine, Chicken Republic. He just started taking it. Couldn't we sit down? Me, I hate this thing. And you were laughing all through the euphoria of the excitement. And the guy thought that that's what you like. He will repeat it again tomorrow. Hallelujah. You invited him for dinner. He wore one tie. The shirt was torn. He didn't notice. It wasn't his business. You tell him, ah, sweetheart. Um, see, when there is this chemistry between both of you, you have come to be honest and true to yourselves. Are you following me now? And you can jokingly tell him, say, you, self, I'm going to buy you a new, a new trouser. That your trouser has tried. She has come into your life. You don't joke. You are always serious. You are always praying. You are always fasting. You don't discuss the things you should discuss. If all you are doing in your relationship is Bible study and prayer, you are not helping that relationship. Okay, sister, the Lord gave me a revelation. Shut up. Can't you talk about your lives? Are you not good? What is your best food? There are people, if we call some people in relationship now, you and you, what is your best food? The guy will say, Gary is his best food. You, you say is, is beans. You don't know yourselves. You are that much of strangers. Who is the Holy Spirit? You know, you know. What are the 12 names of disciples? You know, you know. When is Jesus coming? Soon, soon, you know. Where are two of you going? You don't know. Don't spiritualize Things that you are supposed to do to help yourself. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Very important. Everybody say communication. communication. Very important. There must be communication. During a relationship. Number two. Set boundaries. Everybody say boundaries. Paul said the, although we are not under the law. But the Bible says the love of God does what? Please set boundaries. Some of you were in the world. Is that correct? And you had relationships where you were in the world. You could have sex anytime you want. You can spend weekend in the guy's house anytime you want. You can bath with the guy in the same bathroom. Now you are born again. You have left Egypt. Force Egypt to leave your mind. In Jesus name. Set boundaries. Set boundaries. Hallelujah. You must set boundaries. Stand up again, two of you. Come, this side, this side, let's go. So you discuss. Abel, you are a great man, oh, you are going far, but you are a man. Say, I'm a man. Part of the reason why you ask this lady out is because you are physically attracted to her, true or false. Please say it, true or false. That means if you get married to her, you will sleep with her one day, true or false. And the reason why you are not sleeping with her now is not because you are an angel or a spirit. It's because you love the Lord. True or false? When you enter a relationship, you are vulnerable by default. Please, are you hearing what I'm saying, believers? What does that mean? You define it. What rules that you don't define, you will cross boundaries without knowing. You can be a Christian. Over 60% or more of Christian relationships have people sleeping around the guy going to spend weekend in the girl's house, the girl going to from Koinonia now, today is Friday Abby. the grace of our Lord Jesus your load is outside, you just carry the guy takes you in his car and he just goes, I was a service, say nice even if it's Benihin you watch throughout that night sin is at your door correct? Say, but me, I, I'm not, I, I'm, I don't used to sleep with the guy. Yet, 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 keep going every day. The Bible says, and Lord settled near Sodom. He didn't enter Sodom. When they were coming to rescue him, where did they find him? In the middle of Sodom. This is how many people have gotten themselves into trouble. Discuss it. Sister, you are not firewood. Discuss it. You are emotional. Talk. 
Abel, you tell her, say, look, I love God. And in this relationship, we are going to keep the values of the kingdom. If for any reason, any spirit or anything turns my head one day, don't be ashamed. This is somebody, are you saying it in, in the presence of the congregation? Please help me. Don't be disappointed that day. Just help me. Slap me or run. Just do something. Remind me of my destiny. Just put a picture of hellfire on your phone. Do something that will help me. Sister, listen. And I must say this. Listen, we are humans. Church people are hypocrites and liars. Me, I'm not like that. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Very important. You can't come and visit him by 11.30 in the night. Eh? He just had practicals morning till night. Then you came around. You say, I, 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 was, I was reading and I didn't know what to do with myself. Ah, you are looking for trouble, oh. You are looking for trouble. The brother is already on his boxers. He's trying to lie down. He's trying to sleep. Now you come in. He's going to marry you one day. Oh. He's going to marry you one day. You are fast forwarding that day now. You will die. You are there to protect the brother's life, not to kill him. Can't you talk on phone? Am I, am I blessing you? This is the issue. I know we're out of time. We will pray, but we need to talk about this. It's very important. There are many anointed brothers that suddenly entered relationships and they found out that they are, they are sleeping with the lady and doing a lot of things to their own shock. Because number one, you didn't discuss it. Number two, you are not doing anything about it. Hallelujah. Very important. You must talk about it. Your roommates sleep around and they come and they are talking about all their experiences. All those devilish things. And you sit down, you are hearing it. Now it's affecting your mind. You don't know. You think because you are a Christian, it will just... No, it's affecting your mind. You are getting emotional. You are getting seduced by that statement. Before you know it, you find yourself and the innocent brother, because he likes you, will fall victim. Everybody say, I, I receive grace to set boundaries. Christians, I know what I'm saying may offend some of you because it's a kaya beg, jare, your own. You have gone too extreme. Please, Abba. Well, if your destiny is colorful and you want to get there, Ask yourself a question. Are you ready for a child now? If you are not, behave. Brother, for every time you sleep with a lady, see the vision of a baby. Are you ready? If you are not, behave. Praise the Lord. Please define boundaries. Christian relationships should reveal the character of Christ. And you, sister, one day something comes upon the brother, whatever it is. Instead of you to help the brother, you now start going around. Ah! These brothers, I'm surprised. Oh, Koinonia, shut up, please. Did he tell you it's a spirit? Help him. Help him. Help him. Don't disgrace the brother. Oh, I will talk. Hallelujah. It's very important. Help the brother. And brother, help the sister. When she's calling you and you don't understand what she's saying in the phone. Be talking with one ear, be praying. Find a way, let your spirit be praying. Talk about the second coming of Jesus. Talk about the end of the age. Just say something that will bring the sister back to herself. Don't go and spend weekend in a guy's house. You are not married to him. All the sisters say amen. amen. I know many Christian ladies. Once it's Friday, somebody comes from Lagos or somewhere. You go and spend, how can you go and spend weekend in the house of somebody you are already emotionally attached and physically attracted to? You are vulnerable. Hallelujah. 
you are going to go and bath. The brother is watching you. Ah. You, are, you want to kill the brother? You are bathing. The guy is just singing choruses around your bathroom. Or God, go to the parlor. Trouble. If a guy lives in the house and you go, you can enter the parlor, you can enter the kitchen. But you, you begin to put yourself in trouble. See, all I'm trying to say is that create boundaries. Can I tell you something? Brother, when you start sleeping with a lady, I assure you, your chances of marrying her will diminish by a sizable factor. Because part of the things that you should make, how, make you want that lady is that she's keeping herself and is supposed to be the blessing and consummation of marriage. Are you listening to me? Sister, you just open up yourself to any brother. He's just sleeping with you and telling you that, don't worry, in two weeks I will give you an engagement ring. You wait and go and hear what he's saying in the midst of his friends. Hallelujah. Do you know, every time you sleep with a lady or you sleep with a guy that you are not married with, there is a seed of resentment and hatred that comes. That's what happened between Adam and Eve when they went out of the glory of God. Be careful. Be careful. Some of you watch every kind of film. The guy is here, the lady is here. You are watching all kinds. Please, God bless you. Please be seated. You are watching every kind of film. When I talk about all those film things, some of you think it's not an issue. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Put boundaries. Avoid things that arouse you people. Avoid things that arouse you people and get you into trouble. Hallelujah. You just see the guy. You just come and fly on the guy. He's on the bed. You just fly. Ah. <laughs> and the brother is smiling as if he's in control of things. You better, you better start praying. You are not in control. Very important. Hmm. Hallelujah. Build together. Everybody say, I will define boundaries. You are in a relationship right now. You have not defined the boundaries. Do it tomorrow. Define it. How far is far? How far is far? Please define it. Hallelujah. Now, I'll round up with this. There are many other things, but we're out of time. We really are out of time. Just give me a few minutes, five minutes, and we're out. Danger signs. Oh, this is important. You must write it. Danger signs that your relationship is nose diving or that your relationship may not work out. Danger signs. I must say this. Very important. Number one. When you find yourself consistently violating boundaries, that relationship may not work out. Did you hear what I said? Are you listening to me? What did I say? Consistently violating boundaries. No way. A time will come. Look at me. The lady will be so cheap or the guy will be so cheap. They will be like a rag for you. Discontent will enter your heart. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Take these boundaries issues seriously. I know some of you feel, why is he talking like this? Okay. Once you are consistently violating boundaries, every night, every weekend, you are coming to his house, all kinds of things. No. Your chances of getting married are being slashed down seriously. Number two, number two danger sign. Excessive involvement of third parties in your relationship. This is very important. There are many of us, the number of counselors and senators and members of the House of Assembly in your relationship are too much. Too much! You have a senate that decides on everything. You want to cook for the guy. Upper house, lower house must decide. Two of you cannot flog out issues. This is what is killing many relationships. 
Hallelujah. There is too much involvement of third parties. Let me tell you something. God is my witness. And for years we've been doing this. Once we pray for people and bless their relationships, you can ask Pastor Jakes, we stay out. Are you listening to me? We don't come and say, oh, we're leaders over you and we're just put. No, we stay out. We only come in if you invite us or where we see that guy, there is a need. Are you listening to me? Listen, if your friend enters a relationship, please stay out. What I mean stay out is define boundaries. Hallelujah. Praise God. Some of you are too involved in the relationship of your friends and loved ones. We don't even know whether it's the friends that are in a relationship or you are the one. You are too involved. You can veto things on behalf of your friend that is in a relationship. It's their business. Leave them alone. Please. Go and pray and wait for your own. Leave them alone. Excessive involvement of third parties. Once you start allowing too many people to come into you, they will confuse you. They will make you to make wrong decisions. At the end of it, that relationship will not work. Danger sign number two. Danger sign number three. When you find yourself, this is important. When you are consistently quarreling and manifesting rage over trivial issues, just know that that relationship has entered the beginning of the end. Look up, please. Look up. When Zuera's food suddenly stops being sweet, promise. Food that you used to eat every day. You were lean like you would die. When you entered the relationship, it improved on you. Now you can see Zuera's food is not sweet again. Her hairstyle is not nice again. Are you following me now? Her text messages are not... Once you find yourself edgy over trivial things, your heart has left that relationship. Is someone learning something in this place? Quarreling over trivial issues. Do you know why? There is a scripture, we will not read it. But the Bible says, 1 Peter 4 verse 8. It says, I believe 1 Peter 4 verse 8, if I'm not mistaken. Love covers a multitude of wrongs. Look at me. When you love someone, you will give excuses for the person. Is that true? Yeah, danger sign. I like the red. Media, God bless you. Red. Danger sign. Quarreling and manifesting rage. You see a guy just comes. This is a lady that before, she's your queen. Eh? Transpose, let me sing a song. By two or three keys. You are the reason I'm here. You're the one for me. You're the one for me. That's the song you sang. Oh, don't forget. You are the reason I leave. You're the one for me. Smile. And the lady is just smiling. Now, listen. Suddenly, I've got my mind made up. addressing that attracted you to her suddenly becomes insulting. Everything. Everything. Once you find that kind of quarrel, please, let me tell you something. If you are not ready to marry her, leave her alone. Somebody else will like her. Don't put any lady under your care and frustrate her. Are you listening to me? Sisters, I must tell you this. Danger sign that your relationship will not last. If the guy you are going out with does not have anybody he listens to, are you listening to me? Don't ever go out with anybody that cannot listen to people. He will kill you. One day he will beat you, stand on you and be stamping you and you will die there and nobody will know. There are some of us, you are going out with guys nobody knows. They don't listen to anybody. Nobody can talk to them. Pastor Jake says, oh, I want to see him. He said, no, please, leave me. That kind of thing will not help you. Hallelujah. When you see these three things, three things happen. 
your relationship is nose diving. You need counseling and you need help fast. Hallelujah. Number four. Maybe we'll talk about, we'll still talk about it next. We'll stop here. Because I still have a lot of things to talk about. There are two issues I want to talk about that many people don't discuss in relationship. Number one is on the issue of health and marriage. But we'll talk about that next week. Is that correct? Health and marriage. This has become a serious issue. If somebody is an SS and she comes and she's in a relationship with somebody who is an SS, can it work? Will they work? Hallelujah. And then the issue of crossing boundaries. Hallelujah. Somebody from Katsina marries an Irobo lady. What, what happens when you are crossing boundaries? The place of family and so on and so forth. And then we'll address the issue of late marriage. Family life, there is a lot we'll talk about. How many of you have been blessed so far? Rise up, let's pray. We'll take that next week. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and pray for one minute. Say, Lord, thank you for your wisdom. I believe that God has spoken to many people tonight. There are many of you that need to change things. You need to adjust things tonight. Very quickly, I'm going to pray. Please pray. We're out of here. Please pray. Those of you who have crossed boundaries in your relationship, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I ask for grace. Honestly. Be honest with yourself. No one condemns you, but be honest. Virtues that you need to build. Teachability. Some of you sisters need to go and work on yourself seriously. The way you are right now, you will not be a blessing to any man. You can be a blessing, Kai, but you are not yet a blessing. Same with the brothers. Lift your voice and pray and say, Lord, help me. Help me. I want my marriage to glorify you. I want my relationship to glorify you. I don't want my children to come and find a curse. I'm tired of the things that I saw in my own family. Hallelujah. 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 Everybody stand. Everybody stand. And when Jesus saw. Oh yes. Oh yes. Gates will be lifted. Ancient doors, inside and outside, let your faith reach out now. Let your faith reach out now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. We are going to shout. Just a shout. Listen. Just a shout once. My God. Kabata Kaya. Kapra Dele Kaya. Embrozata Prata Dadaba. Rakata pro satali bariata de kaya kabam bras taya. I want all the people out. Ushers, please be effective. Listen, just one shout. I like you to shout it with all your heart. I tell you the truth, devils will be shaken from their foundation. Are you listening to me? No power of darkness will stand the fire power. That is in the name of Jesus. Are you ready now? All the instruments together. In the Hebrew we call this Tehila. It's a shout of praise. Are you ready to shout? After the count of three. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Fire! 
Fire! Fire! I bind every spirit. I bind every spirit. I bind every spirit. I expose you. Light, shine. Light, shine. Fire! The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. The fire of God. No devil stands. I expose every foul spirit. Bring them, bring them from outside. Bring them from outside. No one will stand. No one will stand. Oh, come on. No devil stands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands inside and outside. Now, according to the unction, and he gave us power, I speak to you, inside, outside, territorial spirit, I confront you, at the count of three, you will go, you will go, I see a mighty deliverance in this row, one, two, three, go, 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 go. Bring them out. No devil stands. Bring them out. Outside. All of you lift your hands. For there will be a move of the spirit outside. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every power afflicting any life outside by the fire of the Lord be exposed now, be exposed now, be exposed. The fire of the Lord outside, the fire of His presence be exposed outside. No demon stands. Every affliction go outside, outside, outside. The power of God is falling. Outside, the power of God is falling. God is falling. I see angels, angels, angels move across the crowd. Out of her, out of her now, in the name of Jesus, fire upon you now, in the name of Jesus, fire upon you, fire upon you, come out of her now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let her go, 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 
out of her right now. Out of her. Out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Come out of her. Out of her. Come out of her now. Thou foul devil. I see a snake. Out of her. Come out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Come out of her. must open up therefore every power i speak by an apostolic unction every demonic force you're going to shout jesus once and the power of god will move across my god let your fire move are you ready those outside one two three come out come out come out come out come out, come out, come out. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Get your tota. Come out, come out, come out. Come out of her. 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 Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out of her. Bring them in. Bring them Bring this girl. Bring that lady. Bring her, bring her. Just look, look at me. Bring her. Come out of her. Out, out, out. Come out. Now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus. Bring that little girl. Look at it. Hold on. Look at a girl. Look at this girl. At this age, look at this little girl. Bring her, please. Shh. 
shall the captives be taken from the mighty come out of her out out of her now out out in the name of Jesus I bring you the powers of the kingdom come out you shall stay no longer in her life take your place yeah. take your place your time is up thou foul devil out of her right now fire upon you come out right now come out right now out of her come out of her come out in the name of jesus take your place take your place take your place fire all over this body leave her in the name of jesus Come out. Come out. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Your time in this body is up. Please help me with water. The devil put something. Hold on. You will see this lady now and think what she has in her body is a growth. But it's not a Look at. Look at. I'm using this as an example to teach you something. Take what you have put in her life and go now. Go! In the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. It's time for our destiny to go. Come out by the fiery power. Jesus is Lord over every walk of darkness. They know not, neither do they understand. Excuse me. Lady, look at me. I command you to look at me right now. I'm not speaking to her, I'm speaking to the spirit. He's seeing me. Look at me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that foul devil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Just lay your hands on her back. Lay your hands on her back. Now I command you, come and meet me here. Quickly, come and meet me here. In the name of Jesus, leave that place and come quickly. I'm speaking to that foul spirit. Get up right now and come. It's a time of salvation. In the name of Jesus. Since you will not come, hello, I bring you under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Now come here. Holy Ghost, bring her by yourself. Show the superiority of kingdom authority. Kapadia, the pro sosoba, rabate, liver, liver, liver. Nobody should hold her. Come. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Many of you do not know how powerful the Holy Spirit is. You will come. Is an instruction in the realm of the Spirit. Through the greatness of thy power. Shall thy enemies. Come. Run right now. Get up and run and come here. By the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. No devil stops it. Through the greatness of thy power. Shall thy enemies? I said, Come and meet me here. Don't stay there. It's time for the lady to go. Someone has someone has a problem. One ear 
you feel like there's water you practically cannot hear very well with it who is that person who is that person one ear you feel like there's water or something please who is that inside or outside hurry up come quickly you which of them it will be open right now put your hands there as i command that deaf and dumb spirit to go in the name of jesus let her go now go be healed mama salvation has come for you right now which of the ears this one put your hands there that devil is a liar no just put a finger inside go go come out come out of her come out of her right now you are a deaf and dumb spirit in the name of jesus let her go 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 i set you free check it check it someone check her what do you feel no no really Look at like what are they again? Look at instant miracle. Come, what happened, Mama? What look at me? What used to happen before? I'm not uh, before I used to feel as if there is water inside. Sometimes I'll be hearing something, uh, waka inside, but now not look at water. this. And Jesus casted the devil and the dumb spirit. This is Acts of the Apostles. The Bible says Jesus is the same. Yes, this is an elderly woman. She can't come and stand before you and be telling lies. Madam, you are free forever. What's wrong with her? Both ears? She had moms. So it affected she had her what? moms on her left ear. Moms. So it affected Bonds. both moms. Can she, she can't hear me now. She can't hear the two ears. Put your hands in her ears. Jesus, how deaf and dumb spirit, I curse you over this girl. I curse you over this life right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, your reign is gone. In the name of Jesus, someone test her. There's someone. Come, sister, you. Yes, come. I'm seeing something wrong with your stomach. Lay your hands there. Look at me. Look at me. You will be free right now. I bring you healing and perfection in the name of Jesus. Now, all those with any heart conditions, all those with any heart conditions, heart condition of whatever kind, please come out quickly. Just leave these people in front here. Just leave them. Just shift this poop in the bit. And heart condition. Okay. Your ear. Both of them, both ears. Look at me. Ah, the power of God is going to you. Come out of him now. Now foul them. I open your ears. Check him. Check him. Do what you couldn't do. Check him. Please let the ministers do it. Heart problem. Heart problem. Please, can you shift this? I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. Can you just step up here, all of you? Please, quickly, quickly. I don't want to step. Heart problems. I'm feeling pains here. Look up, look up, please. Who has pains here? Is this my right or left? This left. 
Someone is having a sharp pain because I'm having the same pain. Yeah, come. Hold on, hold on. I'll pray for you. And heart problem. What of your waist that pains you? You didn't come out for it, but you will go. Leave her now. Come out of her. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Pack your load. Say it and pack your load. You remember that song? You Buddhists sing it. All right, let's not sing it. Spirit, I will sing Janet songs. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I represent the government of heaven and I bring you the life of that government. Go, go, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, go, go. Check yourself now. Check yourself. It's gone. Com please help me with the mic. It's gone. Completely gone. It's gone. What used to happen? Hold on. What used to happen to you? You used to feel pains. Yes, when I came in. Also. When you came in, you were feeling pains. You see that? The enemy has done this. You are free forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my brother. What is this pain that I see here? What happened? What happened, but uh, the pain just started yesterday. Yeah, but you are not serious with God now. You see, the pain will keep coming. Eh? You are not even born again. When I make altar call, before I, I finish, just run and come and wait here. Eh? But for now, Jesus will heal you because he's a God of love. You believe that? Out of him now. Come out in the name of Jesus. A foul devil. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. Go, go. Out. Come out of him. Who is Neka? Who do you know called Neka? I'm hearing a name Neka. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you? Your heart. What happens? It used to pain you. What do you mean it used to pain you? Now sharp pain always. Sharp pain. Yes. How long? Is your Hold sister? Me. Okay, lay your hands there. For like three months now. Okay, look at me. Open your eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Come out of her, devil of darkness. You are free. Sister, sister, just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. For light cannot stand darkness. You are a foul spirit. I've seen you in the spirit. Out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, as I pray for you, go back to your seat quickly. No, 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 no. How can you go? I'm not done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands on her stomach. All right, go. Go! You see something for me like a growth. You must go. They call it a growth. The life that sponsors this growth, you will go right now. With a loud shout. That's what the Lord tells me. You will go with a loud shout. Now! Come. She's free. Bless you. Madam, what's wrong with you? My two brothers. Your two brothers. They, where are they? They're in the village. What's wrong with them? They don't hear well. They are stubborn or they don't no, hear well? They are ears. Okay, they are ears. Yes. Can we agree for them? Yes. What's their name? Tony and Ima. Tony and Ima. In the name of Jesus. For ah, you two, you need help now, madam. Let's start with you first. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Please put your hands on your stomach. Let that pain go. then for your two brothers, the Lord perfects them. In the name of Jesus Christ. When I lay hands on you, you will be healed. Don't worry. It doesn't mean I have to cast out a demon. See, manifestation is not a sign that demons are in you or they are going out. Faith in the word of God is. Brother, 
You are not very fine, oh, Mr. Man. In Jesus' name. The ministers are going to come up and we'll start ministering to people. You must, what's wrong? Steal the heart. Go! Come out of him. Come out of him right now. Out of him. Out! In the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Take him outside. He's going to cough something. Quickly. No coughing inside Colonel Auditorium. Please take him outside quickly. He will go by the influence of the spirit. So he's going to run. Hold him. He's going to run by the influence of the spirit. Okay, I'll pray for you. In Jesus' name. That pain leaves you forever. In Jesus' name. Sister, come. What's your name? Jane. Jane. Where are you from? My state of origin, Benue. Because the same way you are dressed, that's the same way I'm seeing you in the spirit, but the only thing is your face is covered. Are you listening to me? But the Lord will set you free. What did you come for? I used to have a heart problem each time I have anything in my mind. What of the movements around your body? Something is moving around your body. Affect my life, freedom. Free. 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 You can't hide in her. Come out in the name of Jesus. And set this lady free. You're free. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. What's wrong with you? Anytime I get angry. Anytime you get angry. You know what's wrong with you? But you want God to help you, right? See, this lady is so desirous of help. Because I see the spirit of anger. You can carry bottle and kill somebody with it. Is that true? You want to be set free from it? Look at my eyes. I've seen you now in the spirit. Come out! Out of her! Come out of her right now. Foul spirit of wickedness. In the name of Jesus. This is a very nice girl. Look. This is a very nice girl. But when that spirit comes, she can break this bottle and tear your head with it. You must go. Kaparata kaparata balatapai. Krepete keposh. I'm seeing a snake. This is the spirit of lust. Come out. Leave her alone. Just leave her. Come out. I see that spirit. It's a snake. This is what I'm seeing. You must leave her right now. Out of her. Out of her. See, you don't need to think about Satan. You just need to get him out of the way. And build your life with the word of God. I set you free. Right now, no more anger. Just look at my eyes. In Jesus' name, you're free. Leave her. You're free. She's free. My dear, no more anger. You will serve the Lord all your days. Okay, God bless you. Heart. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed right now of that heart. Oh. 
for a long time out of her right now in Jesus name you must go out come out your exodus out of her life with a loud shout I instruct you to leave now at the count of three one two three Now, now, out. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. I set you free. sense to you. Huh? You are not gone. You must go. I see you in the spirit. Go! Come out of her! Be silent. Speak no word. Go out. What did you put in her stomach? Take it and go out. Take it. Remove what you put in her stomach. I see it now. Remove what you put in her stomach and go out. I said remove it. Take it out now. Foul devil of darkness. Jesus set you free. You're free now. Jesus name. Leave her. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. I said, look at my eyes. This is the instruction. I see like claws holding this lady. Now, go. In peace. And I mean it. Take it away and go. Set her free right now. Jesus. 
your sin. Stand up. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just stand up. What do you say is wrong with you? You have all these things now. When you are doing all the things you are doing, you know what I'm saying, right? Does it make sense to you? Abba. Nka shower, nka shower. Your body will not leave you now. This is your problem. You know what I'm saying, right? Ever since before you started the war, who led you into taking it? Tell me the truth. You can't hide it. I've seen it. Yes. Since when? Since 1998. The Lord set you free. Break you free from that addiction. When I make the altar call, just run and come. God will give you a new beginning and you will be a great man. Have what? Hepatitis. Hepatitis. Yes, B. C. C. Yes, Who diagnosed it? In the hospital. You'll be free from it. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Hepa karata poko sufre teke balata bonda. Mabrati kapos kuzi benishi. Free. Jesus. Come, it's your time to go out. Oh yeah. Zerkin Salama. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. No, you don't need to force her. This is authority. I'm not speaking by myself. So I can't use my strength. Once you use your strength, the strength of God is of no effect. This is God speaking. Look at my eyes. Quick, look at my eyes. Salama. Salama. Very pretty lady, wonderful lady. They shall lay hands. Now you must leave. I bring you the authority of Jesus. Go. Go now. At the count of three, quietly let her go. You're hearing me. One. This is Good Friday. Two. <laughs> Three. I right, go. Quietly. Quietly. You must leave. I've given the command. I've given the command. You will go. Out. Out you go. That's it. Bye-bye. Find someone else somewhere. No, it's going. It's going. There's no stopping. The word has been spoken. Sister, come. Come. 
No, this lady with blue will be green. That's it. Leave her. She's free. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. This is a terrible spirit. Hold on. It doesn't leave until she's turned with her back. This is crazy. Whatever this means. All right, turn your back and go. Say terrible thing. Back. Whatever that means. I'm not a herbally for God's sake. You heard me. Turn your back now and leave. It cannot leave until she's on her back. I said, turn your back and go out now. You are a foul spirit. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Just leave her. Just leave her. Turn your back. You will lie on your back and it will go. That's right. He's bringing everything. When she lies on her back, he's going quietly. I don't understand some of these things. We're still learning. So you lie and go. There's an angel standing close to her. That's why I told you people don't bother. Now, we're going to minister. We'll have to hurry up. If you brought somebody who is sick, please come out here quickly. The ministers are going to lay hands upon you, but bring this lady for me. All right, your time is up. Go. That's it. She's free. Stand up. Stand up. Please, can I have your water again? My sister, come. Well done. You will live your life serving the Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Where else did you put this kind of thing? Look at me, look at me. Where else do you have this kind of thing? This is what attracts the wrong men to you. You don't even know. Mindsets. All right, that's one. Go. My dear, look at me. Touch my hands. Just touch my hands. You know what you are seeing. I'm speaking to the spirit, not you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Touch my hands. Go ahead. Touch my hands. The hands of Jesus. I bring you life. You may leave her now. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. With a loud shout, you are going. This is what the Lord Go. In Jesus' name. For how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way? How can you walk when you don't know the way of the Spirit? How can you fly like the eagles when you don't know the way? Are these the only sick people? Please, every other sick person, come and join them quickly. While that is happening, pass your prayer request quickly. Outside, please pass it to the last person at the side. Let's do that quickly. All the sick people, please come quickly. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the sleeping. Please come and lie down. Sass, Jake, Quickly, please come and stand here. Get set to be healed. This is not trial and error. While that is happening, everyone, please pass your, your prayer points. Swallow your pride. Listen, 
as hands come upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be perfected. Pastor Sam. Hallelujah. Now we'll start praying for you. Whatever the case is, I've waited for when I'll pray for you. Come and stand. You, come. It's time for your salvation. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Give her now. Go. You're free. Next. Please, quickly. Whatever is wrong with you, as hands are laid upon you, that's it. Kaparata kaparede go shatavalia. Be healed. Be healed. Every sickness. Peptic ulcer. Who is the person? Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Come. Be set free from anything. Anything wrong with you. Come out. Leave her. Go. Go. Set her free right now. Go. Go, you're a foul spirit. I've seen you. Go. What's wrong with her? Okay. What did I say? Pepsi Cosa. Fire upon you right now. Quietly go. Lepticals are you come. Come out of her. Come out now. You have caused a lot of delay in her life. This is out. Out. You're a wicked spirit. Come out. I've seen you. Out. Makaprata Karia. You said she will not marry. She wouldn't do anything. It's, it's a time of deliverance. Out of her. Come out now. Come out now. I set you free. I open doors of blessings to your life. Please quickly. What's wrong with them? Yahweh.
your deliverance come your salvation has come it's your time to smile run and come I say run look at what she's doing but those of restoration and prosperity you have cried this lady loves the Lord but she has suffered you have seen you have suffered aha I'm seeing a cake and it's a wedding cake this is what the Lord shows me in the name of the Lord Jesus I release you in Jesus where's the lady I asked her to come where's the lady sister look at me Start rejoicing because of the good. No, I didn't say dance here. The good things that will happen in your life will be surprised. Look at me because you have suffered. God brought you here to bless you. If I were you, I'll find the person that invited me and take him out for lunch. Go! Go! It's a time. That's it. Step into your blessings in the name of Jesus. Come on, celebrate Jesus. The prayer request, please bring them out quickly. If you didn't write the prayer, those on Facebook and all our members, please. If you cannot have it, no problem. Hold on. There are two ladies. Please don't be ashamed, okay? The Lord asked me to call out the case. Don't be ashamed. Okay, three people. You are suffering from... is a bedwetting issue. See, we're a family. Do we all agree we're a family? There's no need. There's no... Okay. You are suffering from... It's a serious issue. Please come. 
this is a serious issue. There's no hiding and this is uh, please we are very serious. Because God will set you free. That's why we are farming your faith. There's no this is miracle service. This is not a conference, it's a miracle service. Sister, look at my eyes. Just look at me. Keep looking. Fire upon you. I expose you, foul spirit of darkness. Now, that wedding stops forever. It's a spirit. She has a dream. This is, I'm seeing the dream that this lady has now. She has a dream. They are pouring water. And she's standing there. Later, the water becomes a bathroom and she wakes up and sees. You will look and think she's an irresponsible lady. Some of you who will not keep your mouth in one place, you like talking about people. See, judge not. The spirit of Christ is the spirit of love. When you see your brother in a child, help the person. Don't be the one carrying your big mouth from left to right. When you yourself are not free. Hallelujah. Don't be judgmental and cynical. Let's, let's give our brethren room to find security. Koinonia is not a church. This is an apostolic center where God is setting people free. On Sunday, you can go to your church. This is not a church. It's not a prayer house. It's a place where Jesus dwells. And he's doing wonders. Sister, I set you free. In the name of Jesus. Hold on, because I'm still going to pray for her. She came from just God is going to use her. All of you standing here, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. God will set you free right now. God is helping you, but you need a kingdom mindset. Mindset. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Foul devil. Go! Even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives, I'm speaking to you, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives, aha, come out of her. Now I've seen you, come out of her. Foul spirit. Fire upon this body right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are a wicked spirit. Go. In the name of Jesus. Now, see, out of her, what is this that you are putting in her stomach? You will remove it. Remove it now. I said remove it. I'm seeing it. I see something like a band. Remove it. Take it away. Remove it. Let everybody see. I said remove it now in the name of Jesus. Our foul devil. No. No. Just quietly come out. Honestly, don't disturb us in this place. Go out, please. Go out in Jesus' name right now. This thing happened to your father. This thing is happening to your loved ones. What is this around your waist? This is what I'm saying. Come out! You are a wicked spirit. Out! Spirit of lust. Aha! Out! Come out of her right now. You are a wicked spirit. Look at, look at this. Come out! What did Kabarakata Grento Satilaka Repatarita Rabaka Batoso Pregete Rekata Pariata by the fire power of the spirit. Many of you will find out that your spiritual life will take a new dimension. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now you will begin to understand the word. But don't judge others. 
Because with this spiritual insight now, you'll be looking at people and be seeing how oppressed people are. It should create love in you. The true spirit of Christ will reveal the character of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands with both of your hands. As tight as you can. First bank had a song, you said, what is the song? Man pass man. Bank pass bank. Jesus pass demons. Is that not a good one? Compose your own. Now you must go. Out of her. Right now. Even aside from standing in, I need to pray for you. You're a good usher, so you need to come out of her. Out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at your own hands shaking. What is this? Watch from today. Just look at it. This is demonic. This is nonsense. I pray that when some of you begin ministry, you will bring Jesus alive to the scene. You won't let men just doubt whether Jesus is Lord. What is happening to you? Spinning me. Jesus said, it is the thief that comes to steal to kill and to destroy please hang on because I'm going to prophesy this is the best part of the session where I begin to speak to people but first let's play on this request Sass, please can we come all of you stretch your hands inside and outside please stretch your hands on your request the Lord, but you will not oppress her. Come out. This, this is what has been responded. Come out. Fire upon you right now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. You must go. Oh yes, you must. Go, go. I've not finished with you. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus, I challenge you. I'm seeing an altar. I set it on fire. I told you Satan likes bodies. They won't go. It takes the power of the spirit. Go, 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 go. Go. <laughs> Please be praying on the request. Don't Let's save time. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus. For with authority commanded he devils and he obeyed. At the count of three, your time of exit is come. This is Good Friday. One. Two. Three. Go. In Jesus' name.
Go. Go. In Jesus' name. With a loud shout, come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. She's free. Stand up. You can help. Where's the other lady that was here? There was a lady here, right? Sweetheart, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Please, when people stand up like this, show them love, help them, don't just stand and be looking at them. Someone was standing here. Come, my dear. You are going to begin a journey with the Holy Spirit. God has set you free. I'm going to impart an anointing upon you. There's, there's still impartation coming in, okay? It's not all about deliverance. There's, you need grace. Alright? We have finished with Satan so you need to have something. My dear, God will do great things through your life. You may look weak in yourself, but when he overshadows you, that which will be born of you will be called the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Look at me. My God, there is no man who is able to separate. The Bible says, when they all gathered in prayer and fasting, the Holy Ghost said unto them, separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord Jesus, place your hands upon her by yourself and separate her. I separate you right now to the dealings of the Spirit. I open you up to visions. I open you up to spiritual experiences. Receive the fire right now. Receive it right now. Thank you, Jesus. An angel is pouring oil upon you right now. This is what is happening to you. Upon your hands and your head and your chest. Let the oil come. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stretch our hands, everyone. Please stretch your hands. Go ahead and begin to pray now. Please, for your loved ones, say, Lord, every request here, those outside, everywhere, stretch your hands towards this. Stretch your hands towards your screen. In the name of Jesus. Lord, miracles. Release miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, by your great power, thy enemies submitted. All the requests here, and even those who are online, Father, by your power, by the power of your spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, and answer prayer. Answer prayer. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Miracles. Doors open. Miracle babies for our loved ones. Miracle marriages. Open door. Finances open. In the name of Jesus. Reconciliation to home that are broken. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. Now, I want to pray for everybody right now. Please don't miss this part. This is where the Lord separates men unto great things. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. It's not to say you are wearing this. Come. Look at my eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Expose darkness. Go! In the name of Jesus. I 
truly want to pray for you from the depth of my heart don't miss this part he sent forth his word whenever a prophetic word is about coming to your life listen this is where god picks men into miracles be it financial be it whatever i don't do these things because i'm a man of god i do these things as i am moved by the spirit whether you are inside or outside even if no one can see you i like you to lift your hands and where you need to shout amen shout it with all that you have lift your hands something will happen in this place right now for he never sends us alone he leaves us a witness jesus i want to impart gifts anointings graces help me instrumentalist at the count of three i'll begin to release them in mass everywhere inside and outside it's time for you to step up spiritually i come in the name of the lord lift your hands father confirm your word no you don't need to bring them out you don't need to bring them out now this is impartation in the name of jesus lift your hands now come on Barbara Tata. Shout Jesus just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take the fire. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I release gifts. Gifts of prophecy. Gifts of healing. Receive it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I activate your spirit man. I activate your sense. Share in the spirit. See in the spirit. Perceive. Spiritual things. Baba Rata, Na Baba, No Bosha, Reke, Reko Shata, Na Baria, Paros, Korekata, Na Preto Sodia, Rendekete Lekete. Receive it, receive it, receive it, take it, take it. Now the fire of the Holy Ghost is coming. Listen. Just leave them, just leave them. It's not a crime for them to drop a seat. Just leave them. Listen, the fire of God is going to mantle some of you. And this will take you to a new level of Christian experience. Not everybody. Lift your hands. For some hungry people, oh God. I see cloven tongues of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, thou power of the Holy Ghost, move. Fire, fire, let it come like rain. Le pete te te, le kete, le bosh, le pa, le koto, le be, le kariata, ma brat patata rata, le kos. Take it, take it, visions, take it, take it, prophetic experiences, take it. Outside, take it, take it. Hallelujah. I want to pray for favor. Favor. Oh, how we need it. Favor. It will come strong on some people. I tell you, it will hit some of you. In a way that you cannot recover from. My Lord. In the name of Jesus. Favor anointing. Fall. 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 
he hits you, let it hit you like tornado where you are, like a fireboat. I want to prophesy breakthrough. 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 Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. Brother, come. God will do mighty things with you. Lift your hands. God, use him mightily. Take it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not be the same again. Lift your hands. The breakthrough anointing. Haya. The Lord is showing me doors. Kenneth, the breakthrough anointing is coming on you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. I like you to shout, I receive just once. It will hit some of you. Shout, I receive just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it, the breakthrough anointing. I command doors be open. Doors be open. Miracle jobs, marriages. Barring women receive. Barring women receive. All kinds of breakthrough. I pray for your finances within the next 30 days many of you don't know what the anointing of the spirit I'm not ministering as Joshua Selman don't be foolish within the next 30 days Lord confirm your word if you have sent me let the fire come listen this is what I'm doing I pick you from where you are financially I place you in a prophetic position. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it for your families. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. family under any yoke of bondage I don't care what it is from this night I set you free in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus any building project that your parents are in in the name of Jesus within the next seven days let the finance to continue it I put it prophetically upon your hands in the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Thank you. For you and for your loved ones who need jobs, I call April a month where you will experience turn around. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed him in all things. I prophesy that anointing all round. For your academics, receive grace. For your academics, receive grace. Grace to be the best. Grace to excel. You are not dull. I call you brilliant. I call you blessed. I call you blessed. I speak to your exams. I speak to your papers. I speak to last semester's results. I call it excellence, distinction. Where you made mistakes, we correct it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood upon your papers. Let it speak better than the blood of Abel. For final year students, 
We graduate you in this place right now. Believe me, believe, believe. Don't be doubters. I know you have challenges. I'm not speaking as a man. For as many who can believe, we release you in the name of Jesus. Let policies change in your department. Let them change in your faculty. Every satanic molestation over your life, over your dreams, in the name of Jesus, I put a seal of the blood because Christ died. No devil can access your life again. In the name of Jesus. I command you increase, multiply, advance, move forward. I break you free from habits. Any habit you have been struggling with. Any habit. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by our Father shall be uprooted. I uproot it tonight. The Lord still tells me prophesy on their finances. Listen. 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 We're rounding up. I don't do this all the time. But please, everybody, package a seed. I want to pray for your finance. If you don't believe it, just leave it. Just package a seed. I want to do something that will shake your finances. Please. Who needs one person? Please, this is not about money. You know us here in this place. Package a seed. I want to. Please, package something that will touch you. We don't teach you error here, brothers and sisters. This is not about money. We're a blessed ministry. Please do it for yourself, some of you for your family. Just package something that will cost you and lift it up. This is not some spiritual jamboree. You will watch what will happen. Lift it up, please. Lift it up. Honestly, from your heart. If you don't believe what I'm doing, please put back your seed. Just lift it up, inside and outside. Please, if you can help your neighbor, it will be the best thing you would have done. If you can help your neighbor. Don't make foolish decisions, please. Your common sense is still with you. But I'd like you to do something that will, will challenge poverty in your life. Please just play the string for me. Many of you do not know. The, we don't neglect spiritual principles. We only put them in place. Honestly. Honestly. Hear me. If God is God and we are serving him truly, something will happen to your finances that will surprise you. Some of you are standing in for your families. You just hold on and see. I have tried this thing. It has worked. Lift it. Many of you, as you are holding it, you will see what will happen to you before you drop. Lift it up. Jesus. I didn't call myself, oh Lord, you called me to bless your people, to lift your, please lift it. <laughs> for yourself and family. Hold, just hold it, just hold it. Just keep it hold. Keep it some of you are under financial curses for your family. Just keep it up. That's what I want to break. A sacrifice brought that cause. Let a sacrifice take it out. Go! 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 I break the curse. Go! 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 Lift it up. Go! Go! I break the curse. Go! It's a curse. It's a curse upon individuals and families. Lift it up. Make sure you packet something that will touch you. I break it. It took sacrifice to bring the curse. Lord, we lift this sacrifice like that of Abel. I terminate poverty. You are a spirit. Go. I create a sound of abundance in the spirit. I give your seed a voice in the realm of the spirit. I speak against altars of darkness that keep families in bondage. Go! Go! I set them on fire. Hallelujah. Father, these hands that are lifted, Please, even if you don't have a seed, just lay your hands on someone's hand who has a seed and lift it. Father, as a house in Koinonia, Lord, you cannot give me people to lead. 
and you are blessing us as a house and it's not showing in their lives let everyone who identifies with this ministry i prophesy the same oil of inexplainable but undeniable prosperity i release it upon your life right now i release it upon your life right now creativity beyond your imagination visions of ideas destiny help us for your family members those who need jobs take jobs those who need business ideas receive it those whose business are dying i resurrect it back i put the life of god into it let the dry bones come alive i speak to this seed lord this will not be the last seed they will give but may this be the least you will give because of the degree of abundance ushers quickly yeah. i wish many of you can see what is happening in the realm of the spirit all our services are powerful it's just that the miracle service is a special service quickly quickly thank you for your presence thank you for your presence we are soon rounding up just hold on do you know part of the reasons why hold on part of the reasons why people don't wait except they have something serious do you know part of the major reasons why people don't wait for meetings like this is because of demonic activities they keep making them uncomfortable and they leave because of certain blessings listen not every man of god is out to destroy you god sends people to lift you i promise you you will never be the same hallelujah now it's not just enough to be prayed for to be healed to be released you must grow in the world i can't tell you this enough there are many of you who only come for miracle services because you want you won't grow that way you must be taught the word subject yourself to the teaching of the word the bible says i commend you to the word of his grace which is able to keep you and to give you an inheritance he said according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness how through the knowledge of him who has called us into glory and virtue the next verse says wherefore has he given us these exceedingly great and precious promises that by them we might become the partakers of his divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust subject yourself to the word you must be taught the word you must grow there's no shortcut to greatness there's no shortcut to the anointing and to the presence of god everyone please stand up right now i'm inviting those who i don't need to do any special cajoling all those people that i told them it's time to get born again now it's your time to run out and come out here everyone who wants to give his life to jesus christ or you have once given your heart to the lord and you've run and this is stand please you are not coming to me hallelujah inside and outside jesus loves you now is the time of salvation we do not condemn you leave your seat and come if you've given your heart to the lord and you found yourself derailing no problem just come outside there are a number of you outside god is calling you leave your friend come thank you jesus koinonia celebrate them this is the biggest miracle come god bless you bless you sister bless you my brother don't stop god bless you you need jesus is the fountain of life he's the one we represent here he's the one we exalt there is only one name not any man of god not bishop stan not pastor jakes not joshua selman jesus and him alone i sense that there are still some of you that are waiting behind jesus is calling you jesus is calling you thank you sister thank you sister of you who have come here god bless you thank you so much for coming 
I want you to know that you will never be the same in Jesus name this is the greatest decision you will ever make in your life now lift your right hand high above your head and say this very very loud say after me Lord Jesus it's not a poem say Lord Jesus I love you I believe you died for me I surrender my heart to you because I cannot help myself today I make Jesus Lord of my life I denounce sin and Satan I declare that I'm born again the life of God is in me and Satan will go go was still praying and what, what was I saying and Satan will live my life forever in the name of Jesus come out of us she's making Jesus Lord of her life you're a foul spirit out out you're a wicked spirit go this is this is authentic born again authentic one that comes with a dramatic change many of you got born again you were laughing from the beginning to the end you don't even know what happened to you this is what they call old time religion born again the one that will leave a mark in your life you won't forget unfortunately those who talk about old time don't go far enough they mean religious born again acts of the apostles Holy Spirit, come and live in me. From today, I am yours. In the name of Jesus, I'm a child of God. I break free from addictions. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I appreciate them. Look at me, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much. This is the best decision you have ever made in your life. To make Jesus Lord of your life. Now, I'd like you to just follow the ushers. They will lead you and then will follow you up and make sure you are grounded in the things of God. Never forget this day from today. You're going forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please appreciate them. Pastor Jax is meeting with you tomorrow by, by 5 p.m. Chapel premises. Please, ushers, make sure you remind them. Tomorrow, 5 p.m. Hallelujah. Now, if you're Worshipping with us for the first time, inside and outside, we're out of time. Please, I'd like you to run and come out quickly. We want to bless you. Appreciate them. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Confidence is come out here. You'll be the first to receive the blessing. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. She's a visitor, but you must leave. Don't go back the same way. Hallelujah. When we say we have a blessing, we're not joking. We really mean it. Come, quickly. Thank you for coming. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for coming. This is Koinonia. Today happens to be our miracle service. We meet here every Friday. Hallelujah. I assure you, you will never be the same. The Lord will bless you and he will make you a wonder in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that he will help you. I pray that his grace will be at work in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Whatever you came here with, whatever expectation, believe God and it will be done. Hallelujah. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we pray for them. Father, may they step into blessings beyond their imagination. We bless you with a fresh hunger for God's presence. You will love the Lord more than anything. We bless you with the spirit of prayer. We bless you with passion for the word. I command everyone under the influence of any spirit that is not of God to be free. In the name of Jesus, we open up closed doors for you. We anoint you in the name of Jesus. May you walk in paths of the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same again. May the hand of God be strong upon your life. May the Lord use you mightily. In the name of Jesus, thank you so much for coming. We'd love to see you again and again. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him. 
that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.